Hello everyone, and welcome to another wonderful edition of Cyberpunk. I don't know if it's wonderful yet, I get. But, you know, it probably will be. Um, let me just show you that wallpaper. Just get that out of the way early. Pretty sure there's nothing in there that violates TOS. Um, pretty sure. That was probably going to come up sooner or later, so might as well. Oh, my, my task tracking app is still running. How strange. I cut off your beefcake. Don't worry. It'll be there later. Don't worry about that. Let's cyber, let's cyber time. Guess what happened to your car? Uh, I'm going to guess it's something new. Somebody took a shit on the hood. That's what happened to your car, JC. You were minding your own business, and someone came along, dropped trouser, and squeezed out a log directly on the hood of your car. Uh, I saw Max Payne 3. Yeah, I reinstalled it. Uh, THC Tuesday got into me and I was like, Fuck, Max Payne 3 is good. I can't remember even why I was thinking about Max Payne. Oh yeah, there was a Max Payne 2 trailer on Media Tech, And I was like, shit! Shit! It doesn't take much. Uh, for me to, for me to remember how awesome Max Payne 3 is and then want to play Max Payne again. Uh, child, did you choose? Huel. 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 Uh, it's, 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 um, it's like meal replacement powder. But, uh, I was unkind to my body yesterday. So today I'm being a little more exacting about what I put in it to get some ground back. But yeah, two, uh, two bottles of champagne, um, leave their mark. So I'm trying to make up some calories, so I'm trying to be, uh, exacting. Oh wait, hold on. Actually, I did see a dude hand two beers and a handle of crown to the passenger in the car next to him. Wait, what? In your car? I think I may have missed what the actual fate of your car was. One second. You want to see that weird centaur? No problem, bud. There you go. We uh, we live to serve here on the Lawrence stream. Oh, nothing. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Solid misdirect. Okay, I got it. Car is totally great. Nice butt. No, it's the side. It's the shank. No butts here. Twitch TOS is fully in, fully in agreement with it. Fully. Oh. Got a cool point to spend. If there's not a fucking 20 cool check by the end of the damn game, I'm going to tweet. <laughs> CD Projekt will hear about it on my Twitter feed. From the depth of my social media following, I stab at thee. What's I gonna do? Oh yeah. Let's find what to do next. Running out of side quests. Well, I mean, there's a million on the map. Maybe I'll just, I'll just, I'll just knock off a few of those just for funs. Look, there's one right there. <laughs> Shit. All right. Okay, so these are the things. Um, I think. <laughs> Please, so fucking weird. It is. Uh, Twitch isn't a fan of horse nudis nudity. There's no, no. There's no horse nudity. There's no horse nudity. It's a, it's a centaur. It's a unique creature, and as such, it has its own nudity laws, and none of those are violated right now. Shish. Sheesh. Shish. Sheesh. Anyway, hashish. Um, I've, I've heard people complain very definitively that, that all the side activity in this game is identical. Um, my experience has been nothing further from that. Nearly every quest I have done has some crazy story twist to it. By the pure gameplay, okay, yeah, you're running around, you're talking to people, you're shooting people. And, you know, it's a video game. So, I, I, maybe that's what they mean. They're expecting, like, side quests where you go bowling, like, Grand GTA style, but... I'm curious if these side activities are the ones that become I identical and samey. If you run around doing all the yellow activities. Duh. So, I'm, I'm just kind of curious to see... To put, to put in some more time with the game and, and maybe see the game that everyone else complains about? Or maybe that's just not a thing. You know, some people are just not going to like things. That's okay. Doesn't have to be a mystery. But I'm curious, you know? I always want to always wanna figure things out from different people's perspectives. I don't know why I'm like... There's bad mans here, but I don't know why... I guess there are just hostile gangs around sometimes. Is there ever a collection of enemies um, that are just there for no reason? Like, is this just part of the 
I'm part of the city. Sometimes they're just bad guys. Ow. <laughs> what? It's a, hmm. It's got a little cough. That's okay. The near the gym, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself. Is she talking about a bug? <laughs> like for a second, I was like, is is a CD Projekt developer telling me to like investigate a clipping error? No, it was cyber slang. Hey, what's up, Pat man? Hey, it's good to see you. Uh, foreclosure notice. What do we got here? Due to the failure to uphold the terms of agreement number UPL slash 12064 and failure to respond to letter of demand for outstanding payment number 11055 in accordance with paragraph 628 of the aforementioned agreement, the real property shall become the property of Zeta Tech within two days of receipt of this document. This decision is not subject to appeal. Have a nice day. Let's see, find the... But there's a cyber psycho here? I guess that makes sense. So, I, uh, I can see how, uh... I can see how going around and fighting cyber psychos would be... Pretty samey, you know? There's just somebody freaking out in a, in a field somewhere and you... Shoot them. I'm gonna turn your brain off like a light bulb, dog. See, why did that? Is it? Oh, that's why. Okay. Why are the? Did did containment breach? Huh. Whatever. My brain's too strong. Terrorist activity detected. The fuck are you? Robot? You are just straight up robot. Huh. That's interesting. Why can't I... Oh, I don't have any RAM. That's weird. This is good. This is getting crazy, you guys. Ooh! Don't shoot me! Why? Where'd all my RAM go? I guess I pinged. That was me. That was on me. There we go. Don't mess with me. I have an electric stick. You are instructed to reveal yourself. How many robots does this guy have? Jeez. Whoa. Yeah, I need to download that RAM. What's going on with me? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Download almost finished. Okay. Whew. Got a torrent more RAM. Search the area to collect information. Interesting. The chrome wheezing all that RAM juice. Yeah, you got too many chrome tabs open in your brain. Sorry, I was <laughs> like tearing some dude up on 4chan. I gotta, I gotta close all these tabs. Too many images. That's this V, for sure. Next V is going to be a way more of a bro. Aha! Emails? Don't mind if I do. I'm in deep shit. Yo, I fucked up. Wanted to fry this gonk I hired trying to leave no witnesses or pay the fucking fortune he asked. Except he had defensive chrome and eked out a living and fucked me up bad. The netwatch joined the party and I barely slipped out the net before they fried me. Fucking clusterfuck, man. Mold up in my spot, I feel like my brain's doing gymnastics in my skull. I'm seeing more and more scabs around, but I don't know if they're really here or not. Gotta help me out somehow, brother, please. To William S. Bradley? Who's William S. Bradley? I feel like I should know that name.
I will say that the one thing that the game doesn't do, maybe it does, I have to admit I haven't even tried it, but the game doesn't really seem to indicate that it matters much, but like, is there custom dialogue and custom conversations for like each NPC about story events? I don't know that I've ever really tried to call or text anybody outside of the quest quest parameters. And the fact that it's there implies that like it implies that that would be a thing, but also the state of the game kind of tells me that it's probably not. Call Jackie. I did do that. Now that that was something. That was pretty special. Depends where you are. Judy says something about the parade. Okay. Most times, no. I'll try and think about it then. I'll live it in the back of my head. Because I could see, like, that would make sense. If, like, if I'm romantic with Judy and I call her in the middle of the parade, that's, like, that's a moment. Oops, my speakers are on. Apologies about that. They're, like, small conversations in Mass Effect missions. Or Mass Effect between missions. Okay, so, like, one or two, one or two word exchanges. Let's see what Takamura has to say. I just figured most of the time they wouldn't answer. Like, I would expect maybe text. I wouldn't expect, like, full voice acted, like, performance captured conversations. That'd be too expensive. But maybe, you know, there's just writing packed in the game. I guess that's what I would hope for. Is that you could text people at any time. Ugh, you can call Evelyn's phone. That's what Wells got to say. Probably nothing, I'm guessing. Oh. How do you feel? I lost my son. How am I supposed to feel? This conversation's going well. I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have. I. It's just. When I see him that day, in that limo, all covered in blood. You know what I wanted to say to him. Te metiste en una gran problema, Jackie Wells. As if he was 14 years old again. Just coming home from a fight with the other kids. He's like... My brain was trying to protect him. From what I always was afraid would happen. It's okay, Mama Wells. I... I can't talk about this now. Okay? Damn. Ever talk to Misty in the end? I did like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And? She's so skinny. Who would have thought? Know what she looks like. Not what I'm asking. Hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentrica. Said my home sits on a natural energy source. But I think I know why, Jackie. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. No. 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 Biggest writing change you'll notice are during the main loading screens. Uh, radio hosts usually fill in the listeners on what has been happening in the main story. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Doc Paradox? Yeah. Those are interesting and weird. There's been some of those that seem to violate some of the, like, rules of the game. <laughs> like, some of the pre precepts of the narrative, which have been very strange. What do you think of the Crobcat video on Cyberpunk? I, I don't know. I, don't, I stopped watching Crobcat stuff years ago, so. The format didn't super appeal to me um, after a while. Just kind of got tired of... I, I got tired of media that points and laughs at things. You know, that's kind of what it does. So, eh. Didn't watch it. It's probably good. I'm sure it's funny. He's a great editor. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. Around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's and in that specific circumstance, um, you know, I'll, I'll be real. I really like this game. No, I do. Sure. And I don't... I'm, I'm tired of seeing media that bars hyper inflates in the, the negative aspects of it. This neighborhood died a long time ago. Damn. And to some degree, I even think it's it's rather tragic. It's, um... There's there's a lot here. There's a lot of good work here. And, uh, it's, it's a shame the way that everyone, like, particularly in, in North American games media culture, which is already like, yes, it's a bubble. It's a tiny, tiny bubble. But it's a shame that there's a bubble that is Gotta go. so thoroughly convinced themselves there's nothing redeemable about, about any of it. Or just cashing in on it. You know, there's a lot of that, too. I'm not naive. 
That's the game. I do wish people would pick the higher road then, but yeah. There's no there's no law against it. <laughs> there's no law. That's how it goes. That's the that's the system. Oh yeah. That's right, cybercycles. I was getting bummed. It's getting bummed talking to Mama Wells, but that's that's okay. It's not my job to be happy all the time. It's my job to be there for the people who need me, like Mama Wills. That's right, I gotta talk to um Regina. Regina. It's always this this word's tough because every time you say Regina, you absolutely think vagina. And that seems like a weird thing to just say all the time. It shouldn't be though, right? But like I think to make things fair, Dennis should have to be pronounced Dennis for all time. That's it. Equality, that's all. Cred, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. That is an incredible, uh, that is an incredible sub bomb. Thank you very much. What about Jeffrey? Um. Yeah, exactly, like penis. <laughs> it's only fair. Hello, my name is Dennis. Your name is what? So you gotta really hit that deep. Dennis. Okay. Thank. You. Hello, Dennis. Do you have a cyber crush on any of the characters so far? I mean, hmm. There are some characters that are executed very well, which is to say that they like. Uh, they make me feel exactly the way they are designed to. Like it's very obvious. So I mean, like Victor Vector is very obviously like folksy family doctor like street and there's even a line i think calling out his bedside manner and his dentist quality and that's so much a thing it's very much a thing he's pr he's exactly that character um and and but his his vo is great uh, there's just enough texture to him to make him fun and an interesting character jackie wells is a really really good character again a character they obviously set up to make you like you're supposed to have this like big brother vibe with Jackie, but it's executed really well, and I think it's it's one of the few times where I can tell exactly what they're trying to do, but then also be like, okay, but you're doing it. Like, it's working. Um, oh, that was an interesting, that was an interesting musical flourish there. Um, Judy's a really cool character. Uh, not really in the obvious way. I think her, like, her backstory and the character she is now is really, really interesting. Uh, she's a, she's a very giving person and a very caring person that has, like, that part of her is very difficult to maintain in this world, but she does. And that opens her up to a lot of hurt. And I think seeing that process happen, uh, in that character is really interesting. Really, really interesting. Uh, can I tell your lab class to fuck off? Sure can. Hey, lab class, fuck off. Hey, hey, lab class. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay? There. Took care of it. Um, other characters. I mean, every character is kind of memorable in their own in their own way. I'm... I'm excited to get to know Takamura a little better. I need to play more of his missions. <sighs> every week for four hours, not fun. Only in one semester, though, right? Probably. Dude, I had a... I think it was like a... I think it was a physics uh, physics lab, physics two lab. It was an yeah. I think it was physics two lab. It was electromagnetism. <laughs> oh shit, that was cursed. Oh fuck, don't do it again. <laughs> oh shit, I was levitating up these stairs. There was a devil in me. <laughs> shit. Well, they fixed it. Patches, baby. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I knew CDPR was listening. Right, it's the barbed wire. Right. Um, I completely forgot. <laughs> What main quest am I on? Doing the, uh, doing the parade. Doing the parade. Uh, Arasaka parade. Physics lab. There it is. Yeah, I had to wake up at 6 a.m. No, I had to wake up at, like, 5 a.m. Uh, because the lab was at 6 a.m. And it was, like, the only, it was the exact lab I needed for that class. I had to take it in the same semester as that class. And it was only that time slot. So yeah, my ass had to roll out of bed at 5 a.m. to drive to the school to take a physics lab at 6 a.m. Motherfucker. Like, it's the most, it's the most horrible indignity. It's, it's just the worst class at the worst time. And this was like, this was like, um, winter semester two. So it was like, it was like 20 degrees when I got up. And, the, you know, sun doesn't even exist at this moment. Just dead of night, dead cold. 
My broke ass rolling out of bed, crawling into my shitty car. Ah, uh, jeez. You only gotta do it once. Hopefully. Uh, you do it... It's like my hands look like this now, so blah blah blah, but yeah, you 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 get that shit done with. And then hopefully you, you have the liberty of not doing it again. You just gotta... Just gotta prove yourself a couple times to the world, it seems. I had a MATLAB class at 6.30 a.m. and the teacher put on PowerPoints and would turn the lights off. Everyone slept. Oh, jeez. Was the teacher at least okay with that? It bums me out when, like, college professors get huffy about students falling asleep. Whatever, dog. You're getting paid. You're here to lecture and throughout grades. Maybe, maybe people work two shifts and they, like, can't stay awake. Maybe they'll do the reading later. Maybe if they're getting grades, it's fine. Anyway. Oh, he knew? Okay, good. I'm- I'm- on the- on the other side, I'm- I'm so down with the professors that are just like... You know, we're all adults here. I don't know your life. If you get what you need out of this, then that's great. I was right on the name, and I just kind of... Pointlessly scrolled past it. Feet. Message. Oh. See you around. Wait, sorry. I'm gonna hang up. I'm about to blow you I'm about to blow you up though. I'm about to text you. Alright. That was weird. Hold on. There's a I don't know what the button to go straight there is. I feel like I should. God. Okay. This is weird. So, yeah, I think some of the, um, I think some people had, I remember somebody complaining about UI stuff. I think the main U, most of the main UI is fine. The way that they organize messages and stuff is very, very strange. Also, like, it's just like, why have the call interface, why have a texting interface if this is, this is almost the sum total of what it's used for. It's sort of replying to side quests. It's interesting that you would have, like, there's so many different ways to conclude a quest, you know? Depositing items in a drop box. Texting somebody back. Sometimes they just turn, they just end on their own when you fulfill objectives. Um, sometimes you have to text people. Uh, I guess that's good that there are, there are so many script hooks to, like, get into and out of more scripted game content. Um, it, that, that's the sort of thing where it's like, man, and the DLC, <laughs> One, now that those tools are there and working, Jesus, Fuck. Jesus, um, they, they might actually get a little more clever with, with using that stuff. Oh, you should ride the roller coaster right here? Sure. That's what, um, I'm only bringing that up, I'm not, I'm not being overtly shilly, although I'll do that too, don't, don't worry, but it's more comparing... Witcher 3 Wild Hunt to something like Blood and Wine. They they found really cool ways of going back into some of the mechanics in Wild Hunt that honestly didn't... Like, we're very curious. Like, there were RPG mechanics in Wild Hunt that just didn't matter. They were just there. Because they didn't really hook into any of the gameplay systems. But Wild Hunt actually managed to play with them and do some stuff with them, so... It's exciting to think about. Uh, now that the, like, systems are there and working and writers and content content makers can just go in and bolt stuff in. Never played The Witcher, which one should I play? I, you should play Wild Hunt. Um, if it's it's tough. If you wanted to just like straight up play the best Witcher content, you could probably just start with No wait, you can't just start with Blood and Wine. Yeah, you need a Geralt that's high enough level. Yeah. Just get the Witcher 3 like the most recent collection. It'll have all the DLC in it, and there. I wouldn't really recommend one or two. Two, potentially, but not to new players. You'd have to be a pretty... Like, two's a pretty... Pretty intense, mechanically exacting RPG. What's up? Oh, a box. What is that? Get it over here. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Give it, give it. Is my trumpet? Huh. Interesting. 
I'm gonna open this. I got a free thing. Hold on. Let's, I'm gonna check it out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm proud to announce that I have, I have something new to shill for. Because I got a free thing. Hooray. Um, I guess it's a... Hold on, let me... Ooh, there we go. A collaboration between AIM controllers and Bloober Team's upcoming The Medium. They sent me a custom controller! Yay! Oh, it's got a... It's got a medium decal on it representing the two states of reality and nightmare dimension i'm a uh, mm, i'm comfortable shilling for this because uh bloober team has earned my my desire and respect and i'm pretty excited for the medium i actually get some uh there's some silent hill vibes in the medium i think uh, maybe not so much in its approach to horror or its thematic featuring but uh, it certainly has a lot of that aesthetic vibe and the idea that there is a parallel, like, meat, rusted, great nightmare dimension to ours where, like, our fears are manifested. Like, that's, you know, that's Silent Hill. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from some of the, the trailers and stuff. So I'm excited. Uh, what's the medium? Ha! Ah, it, uh, it is a horror game coming from Bloober Team, the makers of Layers of Fear. Uh, and Blair Witch, if you played that. Uh, oh, yes. I'm writing. We... Every every morning, I get up. I double arm stretch. <sighs> Big stretch. Double arm stretch, take a little drink of water from my nightstand, brush my teeth, and then I watch the video of Billy Corgan on a roller coaster. Uh, and that really sets the tone for the day. Emergency power. I don't do power failure and active safety locks. Well, let's turn that off and turn that on, respectively. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What do we got here? Just plug that in there, plug that there, and pop that out, and we're good. Medium also gave me Ellen Wake vibes. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, was that it? I did it all? Okay. Tucson, why does this dude have so many viewers? You can't tell? This, this winning smile... This uh, positive outlook on life. This raw animal magnetism. Please. Please. Let's not, let's not ask silly questions. There's like very, very quiet, <laughs> very quiet music playing. I didn't know you could ride the roller coaster. There's like, I don't know, man. Sometimes, sometimes I read some comments on. Oh shit, that is steep. Ooh. Wait, can I? Is it gonna flip? It's gonna flip. Dang it. Yeah. Other times when there were like rotation effects. Well, maybe I can. I don't think you can rotate from here. Shucks. No. It, yeah. When like the camera was tilted before, it always made it very difficult to get the. To get the right angle, although that's pretty good unto itself. That's not bad. I'll just take a little photo of that, just for old time's sake. Jesus. Jesus. Right mouse button, rotate camera. I don't think that... Mm, nope. You don't... You can't do it when you're locked in first person. You can't zoom either. Yeah. We Oh shit! Oh, he's having such a good time! Whoa. <laughs> I'm keep a hand on F. I don't think I've ever heard Johnny or seen Johnny legitimately happy before. Incoming Bruce Raid. Oh, they're almost in time. You see in this? Oh shit! Oh shit! What a beautiful oh, cyber yeah. date! Yeah. 
the real texture is non-existent, basically. Wee! What's up, gooses? You guys came at a good time. We're having so much fun with our friend Keanu Reeves. Yay! Holy fuck. Look at him, look at how happy he is. We're getting laid tonight, you guys. Ah, uh, that was that was exhilarating. Ah, uh, me and my best friend Keanu Reeves. Should have taken a picture. I did. Um, I didn't get his winning smile. I mean, I think you can just write it again. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Oh yeah, there is a Ferris wheel, isn't there? Oh no, there is a Ferris. Wait, where is it? Is there a Ferris wheel? Maybe something. Oh yeah, Ferris wheel. Let's do it. There's a broken one. Can you not? Can you not fix that one? Oh, what's up, Austin? Yeah, I got. I got back on the Dagon Rampa train. Can you imagine? It was fun though. It uh. I uh. There's something about playing visual novels on stream that makes me antsy. I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm either. It's this weird mix of like. I feel like I'm either not talking enough because I'm reading. Or if I am talking, then I feel like I'm not playing the game because I'm not reading. It's it's one of the few things I can't do both. I have to like I have to stop reading to talk to chat, and then I have to stop talking to chat to read. So it's a. Uh, but, um, I tried something shocking, and I just sort of f fucking chilled out a little bit. I was just like, you know what? I'll just sit here. I'll just sit here and I'll tap through this game. And the music does a lot of heavy lifting for uh, keeping the stream vibes good. Oops! Dang it. Well, that's fine. I'll take these boots. Is that Santa Monica? I think it's a, it's an amalgamation of Santa Monica and some other things, but yeah. Super Santa Monica. -y. Suspected organized crime activity reported around Eden Beach Mega Ride. Stanislaus Zabisco likely at the scene. Purpose a known captain among scavengers with multiple smuggling priors. City officials have a reward on offer for neutralizing Zabisco and his group. Is that where I just came from? Oh, not yet. Okay. Zabisco. Let's check this out. Where's Night City relative to LA? Um, in canon, it's in Central California. Um, so, um, you can think about, like, California, basically, and Southern California has LA, Northern California has San Francisco. Uh, it's not quite that simple, but basically it's that simple. And then Night City would be kind of in the middle, and then in the weird da desert area. Uh, Tax-free Ponage says, "Can imagine with your years in entertainment, there were a lot of long days. I'm currently working in healthcare, supporting the U.S. military vets, working 14 hours a day, six days a week. Question is, how much work is too much work? How do you know when to call it quits or where to draw the line in the sand?" Um, everyone has a different tolerance for work. And it doesn't have a whole lot, like, I'm I'm assuming a lot from this question by bringing this up, but like, the first thing to think, keep in mind is to not think about enduring work as like something, as like a moral good, um, or, or hoping that you're not coming at it from like a martyrdom. And it doesn't sound like you are. Uh, so that's good, because I know some people like, will will grind themselves down way harder than they should um, because they believe in a cause or, you know. I don't know if that's where you're coming from, but uh, for me, um, I think it's when you start to, like, when you start to make mistakes. I just want to look up for my own mental health. Okay, mental health. All right, good. So if, practically speaking, when you start to make mistakes um, or you... Uh, it's tough because at a certain point, like, it'll cause you to, like, lack creativity in your in your work, but it depends on your job as to how important that is. Um, for me, I think it's when... It's when you start to develop negative associations with the nature of the work, the people that you work with, uh, and what you do. Um, I do think that's that's way too much work. I think anyone can can probably burn like that for a while, um, and I get it. It's tough to know when you have to like say, okay, I'm kind of at, at my my limit here. 
for me, I think it's when it's when you start to feel like you can't communicate honestly with at work anymore or with the people you work with. When you notice that honesty start to go down or that willingness to communicate go down. Um, and that's because either you're afraid that all of your communication will be negative, which should tell you something, or um, it's a source of irritation for you. I, I think there's like a lot of checks. Basically, like all your release valves, how are they looking? Like, like almost like it's like the oil in a car, you know? Uh, but emotionally speaking, like, the people that you can talk to about it, um, how do those conversations go? Um, how, how much pressure is building? How much steam do you have? Uh, it's, it's tough for me to, like, I can't, I can't set those boundaries for you, of course. But these are ways that, like, because you're trapped in your own head all the time, right? You don't know. Um, sometimes other people do. But for me, I found, like, if I monitor, if I monitor the, the spaces where I can relax... Uh, what do those look like, and how troubled are those getting? Um, cause yeah, it's, for me, I found it was like, it was like a battery that would drain and charge back up. And, uh, after a while, you can really feel like, this is, I'm not charging back up all the way. And so you feel the battery getting lower and lower over time. But it's tough to, it's tough to, like, it's really tough to figure out where you have to go, you have to be like, okay, at this point, like, I can't help anybody. What, what really sucks, and, and sometimes this is the position people get in, but like, if you get to that point and you ask for help, or there is no help, that's, that's another thing, I'm trying to figure out how to navigate that situation. So I don't know if you're there, because sometimes people arrive at, at burnout or overwork because they, they truly didn't have another choice or just no help was offered. So that can get complicated. I think that kind of changes the emotional texture of it, too. Okay, I'm gonna turn everyone off. This is gonna be awesome. It's so cheap. Oh my gosh. The cooldown is so short. a body? No. How would you help someone else experiencing burnout? Uh, you just... I don't know. Like, I, I am not a... I am not a work counselor or anything like that. Um, I do... Ace, I do feel... I do feel pretty gratified that, that you're reinforcing me here, because you're far more qualified to talk about this stuff than I am. Um, for me... Oh, okay, good. Okay, so... Try to talk to them about self-care and getting them to see what's happening to them. Giving them an outlet for stress can also be helpful. Yeah, it's... It's tough because, like, if somebody is approaching burnout but they're still emotionally invested in what they're doing, that's different than somebody approaching burnout who, who kind of knows and just needs to be told. Because uh, I think those are kind of two different scenarios that can happen. Um... How, how you convince somebody is like, I don't know, sometimes people just, just want to do it. Like they want it. They want to work that hard. They, they, they believe in it that hard and that's tough. Uh, yeah, just kind of expressing concern is the only thing I can think of. Best advice I got from manager was let it fail. Don't try to fix everything because it, if it doesn't fail, then you won't see the areas where others need to improve. Huh. Oh, if like, if you're on a, a project that's, that's not looking good. And you can turn it around if you overwork. Hermes, thank you for the sub. Underwater DLC or space DLC for Cyberpunk? Ooh. Well, they talk about space more than underwater in the game. So that's... I, I feel like DLC would probably be in Night City, though. It would be so easy to just make more quests. Like, you could you could turn any of these buildings into a, a an interior and then have a whole thing in there. Whole thing. So, to me, that makes the most sense. Just like, oh, there's a door here now. And it goes into a whole thing. Whole thing. <laughs> Mish Bandicoot, thank you for the sub. I 
can't wait for all those whole things. But I gotta hack first. It's hack time. There, hacked. That'd be cool. DLC of Inches filling Night City vertically. Yeah, there's there's just so much opportunity for that. I feel like um I mean, I guess I don't know what the scope of any of their content plans are, but they I feel like it's in their interest to be more generous than not now. So it's possible that a lot of a lot of that those kinds of expansions would be just downloadable stuff, come in patches. We added two new quests this week, that kind of thing. I mean, they gotta do like, they gotta do bug fix first, obviously, but. I've been like, MMOs, MMOs with a steady patch patching schedule are the closest I've ever seen get to something like that. Maybe to some degree the like Telltale games, but I thought it'd be neat if uh, single-player RPGs like this would just patch in new chunks of content. It would be pretty hard to communicate, or sorry, it'd be pretty easy actually to communicate that content to the player too. It's just a fixer calls you, it's like, hey, here's a thing to do. Okay. And since they, like, they have so many um, content delivery vehicles in this game, um, that they have so many tools to, to work with. Um, in most games, like, think about Odyssey, or I haven't played a whole lot of Valhalla yet, but, like, some, well, Witcher 3, like, you could, like, pick up, um, te um, like, text logs and stuff that would start quests, but, like, in, in Odyssey, it's get it from a board or talk to an NPC and it's it's very like talk to NPC go do a thing talk to NPC maybe go do a third thing talk to NPC but this has like brain dance and um, just like locked in communication uh, walking around sort of scene style communication got a few different ways to do story delivery content Seems like they uh, they went. Uh, yeah, I think maybe they went equally as crazy. There's some pop-ups in the desert. Says not available to you yet. Oh yeah, when you when you like hit the the world boundaries and stuff. That's a little cheeky, isn't it? Stupid, and you should feel bad for wearing it. All right, I'll go do this thing. I'll go do this thing, and then I'll do a story quest. Yeah, there's a whoop. Shit. Ow. <sighs> Always cracking my ankles. There's a dead body down here. Huh. got really drunk and wandered onto the roller coaster. And now I'm stealing her money. Damn, girl. My ass still won't quit, though. <sighs> yeah, hard to score. <laughs> well, she died as she lived. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. And about as smart. Have 
seen this cyberpunk documentary on YouTube. It's really good. No. What is it about? I don't know that I would trust a... I don't know that I'd trust a whole lot of... Uh, if it's about this game, I don't know that I'd tr trust it. I mean, I... I had a I had a certain perspective on the game's development. It's a good old fashioned gunfight. Hey, chill out. All right, I don't, I don't care. You do you. It's weird. I know NPCs get bothered by you stealing stuff. Yeah, that was a thing in in Witcher Three as well. You could like add a mod to make NPCs get mad at you, but oh, is it no clip? Trust no clip. I fuck with the no clip. What's up, Homer? Ooh, cable on. Cable on. Tape cable Ascani. Thank you for gifting us up. How do you feel about the old edgy funhouse jokes and humor? How do you look back on it? Uh, it would depend. Um. Look. I'm trying to think of. I never really had to put words to it. Um, I don't know. I think it was experimental. Oops. Hello, V. I need you to go to the specified coordinates and acquire a certain van for me. And mind the local fauna. By that, I mean the animals. Briefs attached. Uh, I, I think it was funny, and I, um, mm, I guess, I guess I kind of get it all around, uh, how that kind of comedy can create problems, um, or treating, treating subjects, or treating heavy subjects with that sort of co comedic lightness, um, I wasn't saying it was from Noclip, yeah, uh, this is my full name, said it was where it's from, ooh, did it, did I miss it? I think it scrolled, alas. Uh, it's 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 tough. I think like I think about it practically, right? If if we as as performers or whatever had sworn to be one hundred percent clean in in all circumstances, like we're just gonna go with the most pure wordplay, uh, uplifting humor we can possibly go for, we just wouldn't have like we wouldn't have succeeded to the degree we would have we wouldn't have been able to employ as many people uh the content that we made wouldn't have wouldn't have reached as many people um so that's an interesting trade-off to think about uh and i think um i think the kind of comedy that that channel produced was fitting for the format um i think it was like you know you can't have good comedic improv, or maybe you can. Maybe, maybe this is maybe this is just inexperienced talking because I'm not that experienced at improv comedy. But I, I really don't think you can like really play if you're if you're if there's like rules about what you can and can't joke about. It should be okay for people to like, and especially in an improv scenario, to go for it. Um, and that that's kind of the virtue of the edit. So I think that was that was part of the idea is that uh, it, it was a comedic atmosphere where you were encouraged to go for it or allowed to go for it. And then, you know, afterward, we have this review where we can be like, okay, did it work? Was it worth it? Was it funny enough? Like, that's that's always the trade-off. And I, I believe that a lot of it was funny enough. So I'm not, I'm not too conflicted about most of it. Um, I'm saying most because I don't know if it's all because my memory might be fuzzy. I'm not saying most because there is a thing I'm thinking about that... Uh, I wish I could erase or anything like that. Nemus Funhouse. It's been about a year since you left. Yeah, about a year. Um, no, I don't. Not really. I miss the people. But the work was like miles away from what it was when I started. Like by the I mean by the time I decided to leave, the work wasn't anything anything like it was it was everything I didn't like and nothing that I did. Uh because everyone took those roles. Like all the fun stuff was taken. So the only way to like work and grow and adopt, like get new tasks and 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 evolve was to do more stuff or pick up the tasks no one else wanted to do. So 
for me that that kind of just went down a certain path and at the end of it I was just like well shit man I just feel like I'm you know feels like I'm carrying rocks all day just rocks I'm just carrying rocks that's it I don't want to carry rocks anymore you part of the voodoo boys don't ask questions like these not safe yeah thank you uh, abyss abyss Eric yeah I looking to buy some this is fantastic here. You've I mean, this is great, but honestly, I'm doing I'm doing more and more stuff outside of stream hours. I would say I spend maybe two to three hours a day. Not much, you know? So, like, for that to be the amount of time I'm working, but... I'm getting other things going, slowly. But yeah, the way I, the way I think about it now is I, am, I have the luxury of having a two to three hour work day. And the rest of the time, I get to hang out with you guys. Girl, where'd you get those ladies done? Oh, there's a ripper in Japantown. Do you for a smile. <laughs> nah, come on. No such thing as a free lunch. And a smile won't get you none either. <laughs> I actually thought a smile was all I gave him? Well, the input won't be happy. <laughs> it's not like he's happy now. Goodness, ladies. Goodness. Um, okay, so I did see the follow-up message. It's just a- it's a documentary about cyberpunk in general. Alright, I'll go check that out. Uh, yeah, well, it's- it's funny now. Sorry, I'm- I'm jumbling around in my head, but now the, uh, now the- the- the decision put upon me, really, is, um, like, do I want to sell out super hard so that I can, like, bring in a lot of money and hire people? Pay them? Do I want to do that? Well, I think I do a little bit. Maybe? So then it's a question of, like, I can take things super easy and keep things at a certain level. Um, or I can I can get all hustly again and try to bite off a lot, try and grind things up. At this time, I own it, so that's exciting. Of all the content creators I'm familiar with, I think you've earned a luxurious two-hour workday more than any of them. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I get, yeah, I th for now. I guess. Yeah, I kind of view this, to me at least, I view this as me kind of cashing out. Cashing out on everyone's goodwill. But, uh, if it, if it works. Three hour workday is not that big of a grind in America. It's really not, no. I guess I do, I guess I do kind of, it's more, it's like, it's kind of like three hours a day, seven days a week, kind of. It's rare a day when I actually do zero work at all. Usually I just kind of like, Answer emails, send messages, plan things, hit hit a couple buttons. Like there's usually an hour or two a day, so it's still nothing. It's still nothing. I get to do it from home, you know. And if I don't like, if I don't want to, I just don't do it. So I have to. Uh, I actually have to really. I have to re. I have to shuffle a lot of things around about how I deal with YouTube. I am not. I'm investing too much time and getting too little back right now. But I know what to do. I'm not. It's gonna take a little while to readjust, but I think I know what to do. Biggest disappointment 2077, no law dog. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear your priorities are exactly where they should be. It would have been cool to be in it. Um, but, you know, whatever. I'm, j I'm, I'm just happy I get to play it. I'm glad somebody made it. I'm glad it exists. Investing clickbait. I mean, that's... It's not necessarily clickbait, but it is, yeah. Aggressive, aggressive headlining. I don't... The problem is you have to make a certain kind of content to justify that kind of headline. The system is pretty good about punishing you for just trying to bait people. So you gotta make some pretty, like, bait-worthy video, too, to keep people around for... Um, I don't know that I want to do that, either. So... It is just a kind of, like... I've kind of walked through this before, but Twitch allows me the freedom to produce exactly the kind of content I want. And I hope that there's an audience for that. I think there is. Maybe not a big audience. Probably, no, definitely not a big audience. But, if anything, my, uh, I've truly learned that it's, you gotta find something sustainable and enjoyable rather than profitable but unsustainable. These are some chill driving tunes. Um, 
On the tasks you got sick of at Funhouse, how were they assigned across the team? Was their favoritism shown to who did what? Um, not really. Um, it was, it was fairly egalitarian. Um, there were basically like recurring productions that individuals would produce. Um, so, uh, I had a, I had a particular recurring workload because of that. Specifically, like, um, I guess some of the bigger, longer running, more time consuming ones I would do would be GTA, Google Trends, uh, and the podcast. Um, the little one-off gameplays, like, those were usually, um, due to, like, whoever would book the recording room, or the shooting room. We had an open calendar and people would just drop things on there and kind of coordinate with the people they wanted to record with. Um, but those, like, I usually didn't have even time to try to do that, and if I did, it would have to be, like, something I would work on outside of work hours because I was always busy, like, planning the next podcast, GTA, or what have you. So, the, um, there was, there was a minute where, like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, talk too much about the reasoning behind it, but we started to trade off, uh, podcast produ producers, so every week a different person would sort of put the show together. So that was an attempt to try to, like, balance out that load a little bit. Um, because by then I was, I think I was already, I was on the verge of producing an entire other channel. So, like, it was just getting to the point where I just can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to not smooch River. River's gonna want to smooch. Hold on. I'm gonna talk to my girl. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re ground myself here. I'm gonna remind myself what I'm doing it for. Oh yeah, and the drunk gameplays, yeah. I was just thinking of you, and before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. This is going well. Nothing special, same old story. I'd rather hear about you. <laughs> it was nice catching up. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. Ah, I love that girl. We always have such... We have such deep conversations. Right. Always. We really understand each other. Remember when you left Funhouse, you had plans other than just streaming? Is everything going as you hoped it would? Um, not necessarily. Uh, there was another pretty big high profile project that was just like on the verge of kicking off and then yeah, COVID shut it down entirely. So that was like, that's a bummer, but you know what? Like, streaming all day is, is not a disappointment. Um, it's, it's super fulfilling and it's... <laughs> It is the it is the easiest job I've ever had. So, I'm not complaining too much. I also think to some degree I needed the break. Um, I think I needed the break. And I probably wouldn't have given myself one unless uh, a virus came along and, and ground the world to a halt. Oh, the 420 streams? Yeah, those were fun experiments. Um, I... Those were, those were a challenge because I never really got any feedback about whether or not anyone enjoyed them or thought they were good content or wanted to do them again or anything. Uh, that was kind of the case with a lot of the things I did, so... I kind of felt like it's just operating in a, in a void sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, you can tell him after the fact? Oh... Ooh, but if I tell them now, they're going to get them, right? I'd love to see a 420 Among Us. Oh, jeez. That would be really good, Mr. Butts. Because that, like... That revol like that revolves around everything that goes wacky when people get high, right? Like, it relies on short-term memory, on names and colors. Um, and intense emotional reactions to things. I think very much, yeah. That's, that, would be, that would be cool. Yeah. I think streaming is still a growing industry, so there's a lot of room for creativity and making your own space. I think you're right, uh, name. I've been I've been surprised at the uh, 
the number of sponsorship services that can like distribute fairly like scaled to the size of your channel um deals so it's pretty clear now that there's a there's like management software that can like take a twenty thousand dollar ad deal and dole it out to 500 streamers it's pretty neat it's it's interesting to think about and exciting to think about revenue filtering to people who are like kind of on the edge you stream a subject no i haven't heard from him in years <laughs> years uh i think no wait he was in an among us thing yeah 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 played with i played among us with him once Whew. Oh, I thought the 420 Tetris was good. We'll watch more of that. Well, you should have tuned in this Tuesday, but yeah, you're right. Need need more people to to match the vibe. But yeah, I know it's getting getting fucking ripped and playing Tetris is rat. Sorry, I'm de I've been delaying not answering this question because I really want to tell him. I do, I do, but I shouldn't. Right? I should dedicate to my suboptimal uh, decision. Uh, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Nope. No. I'm cutting him loose. Fly, my bird. He's gonna do it. He's free. Oh, hey. Oh. Hi. God damn it. I know that my husband and I are no more than Bunraku dolls in the hands of puppeteers. But I hope you took my request to heart. For everyone's safety, this is the last time we'll be in contact. Good luck. Oh. I thought I thought them throwing out the uh Security company meant they weren't going to be brainwashed anymore, but I guess that's that's not the case. Redwin, hey, what's going hey. on? How's it going? I feel like I haven't seen you around in a while. How you doing? Over here. This river playing with cute children because he's perfect. Happy child. Yeah, the face the face proportions are like. Hey, mister. You want to see my knife collection? What? These kids are weird. Don't don't be so frickin' weird, kids. Just be normal for once. Shit. Glad you're here. Oh my Need god, he's barbecuing. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Why is he wearing gloves? Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. What? Oh. My hand has to graze yours as I reach Maybe for the spoon. Did Stop saying that. Just did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. He's sassing at me. This is right. an ancient ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Let's stir. That. Those leather pants, though. <sighs> Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning. On the old edgy humor, do you feel you've grown past it? Is it something that you moderate? Sleep. Is streaming not as fluid an outlet for that stuff? You to see this it was never really my nature. Um, Honestly, I thought you were kidding about the cook off. I mean, I, I understand edgy internet, but. Oh. Just I don't naturally like. Cooking joke about that kind of stuff sometimes i do there's a time and a place but usually when i would drop jokes like when usually when i would drop my kinds of jokes uh everybody would like everybody would react to it as though i just thrown a wrench in the gear like what i what i had said was so absurd and weird that it, it like i get like it's a fun bit it was a fun bit for a couple of times but i'm like we gotta do this every time so i i don't know um it felt like it felt like there was only a certain kind of joke or kind of humor that people would roll with as opposed to just slamming on the brakes and staring at me like I'm weird. So, uh, I guess it's more that. I, I, I kind of like... 
tuned my comedic output, if you want to call it that, to to what the vibe of the group was. How's Randy holding up? So it's like, you He's know, for his old self. just normal stuff. Physically, it's what you got to do. It'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And oh, hair no bacon. Mentally, Thank you very much for the sub. That was some experience. Or the resub. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Weirdo Lawrence is the best. Probably why I related the most. Yeah, I should have. I should have leaned into that more. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but. But uh. I gotta ask. There's like... What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. Ooh. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. There's... There's... There's something to the way that you are depicted on All camera right. or the way that you are depicted through an edit that can conform right how people yes, think about sir. you and that can form... That can influence a lot of things. Um... If you're generally well liked by the audience, it is way easier to get raises and promotions and get sent up to, to events and meet other people and network and like it it really does kind of open up a lot of stuff. So I had to be mindful of that too. Um This is this is not this is by no means like an orchestrated thing and, and certainly it's like it's on me, you know. Um in the earlier years, I was much more volatile on camera, and you know, that, that created a certain reputation that I think really did work against me. So when I tried to change it, but also find a new comedic voice, um, I had to be mindful of like, if I'm depicted as like always interrupting or shutting down a flow or having all the liked characters on camera turn and look at me like I'm an alien, it's going to like have ripple effects. So that was another that was another reason to not lean into that too too much. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. Did enjoy demo discs where you knew all the obscure games and be shouting from off camera. Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty good, pretty natural insert. Loves music, so. Sorry. Bruce is really good about finding ways to include people, um, as bits or as a. Thanks. Like devices or narrative devices and stuff. So good at that. Huge help. Mhm. Yes. Talk again soon. Did you produce Google Trends? Yeah. Um, sort of. I uh, So it was Bruce's idea to start. Um, I think he kind of happened upon Google Trends and thought to turn it into a like a competition. Um, after, there was like one episode where um, I just started suggesting terms and then the next time people like asked me to do it or expected me to do it more. So I just started doing it and then I would like start preparing for it. Um, and then I just started producing it basically. Um, once they Once they started selling ads on it, it became a thing. Uh, didn't you have anime figures on your desk? Where are those figures now? They're around the corner. Uh, they're, like, there's, like, a little alcove back there. Uh, you can kind of see the light where the rock band kit cut, gets cut off by a wall right there. Um, there's a shelf behind that where all of those anime girls are. So, yes, indeed. Really nice of you to come. Curious if RT actually had numerical metrics for talent popularity. I have, I have no clue. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. Do you have any ideas, but didn't want to put in the time and effort into making them? I mean, sure. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's life, you know? That's, uh, that's trying to figure out how much time and effort you have to budget towards ideas. Mm -hmm. I was all river. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy don't had... owe me a thing, Joss. Lawrence's trend master reminded Thank me you. of the Eric Andre show a little bit. Rivers out back. There were vibes of that. I mean, you know, the real Eric Andre show was the I was talking Sockins, which I still I still think fondly about. Man, criminally underrated. 
but uh why did they get Asmati. nice 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 good rice that's good stuff um but yeah there there were a couple of things that went into that um i it was like i kind of wanted like smarmy i wanted like smarmy 50s whimsy of like when when game shows kind of were blowing up for the first time crossed with the bizarre the bizarre like atmosphere of public access um which you know that's kind of what youtube is uh so like lean into it you know make a dumb persona with cheap props uh have have them demonstrate some talent that has nothing to do with anything before the show starts. Um, you know, it, it kind of all fit, <laughs> to me at least. So, yeah, that was one of the things where I was kind of tried to extract creative value out of a, a show that was ostensibly, like, packaged to be sold. I don't think it, don't, don't think it won me any favors <laughs> in terms of uh, sentiment. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Can't wait to throw in this rice. The whole box. Rice. Shoop! Kobe! Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Why would a man wear leather pants to a barbecue? Digital Tears, thank you for the resub. Oh! That Guatemalan guy? You're a fan from Guatemala? Great! Well, thank you for dropping in. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Seems all good. Cyber beer. Like nothing bad ever happened. Cyber beer. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. With an ass like that, why not? Can't argue with that. Line him. I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. Was there a push to bring up production value for One shows like Dude Soup head. slash Trends, or is that Quick something y'all thought was a good idea? I, I wanted to do gun. it. Um, it would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and hold on. This seems like a story. Something. An important story. Uh, my parents died. No. I'm sure not going anywhere. This. Borden, thank you very much for the cheer. The 420 and the 69 bits. Sorry, you can't cheer these as a single number. Why would you want to? Now you get double the cheer. Uh, dropping again for visibility, but Tokyo Drift was my favorite guilty pleasure movie. Couldn't believe it when I saw your tweet. I mean, it's a, it, it makes sense, right? <laughs> it's a, it's a wonderful film. Just a wonderful film. Oh, I see what you mean. 42,069 is too many bits. Indeed it is. Okay, I understand now. You, you did the right thing. What I'm gonna happened? ask. We're gonna get these bombs. Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my mom crying. My dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gassed out of his mind. He fired first. Blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus. River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. Went rabid. Handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that roaming free. No one to hunt him. Ooh, that's grim. Was Joss there too? 
So all this. Mm -hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her mom's head. I can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again. But I was also the junkie who shot my parents. Jeez. This made me want to make my cyber guy buy. River deserves a blowjob. <laughs> yeah. Hey, pal. You've had a rough day. Just warm up the old jaw here. Just relax, bud. Just relax. I understand. I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, see. you said you'd play with us. Buzz off, kid. All right, all right. Cram it, weirdo. Let's go. We? Join us? What are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. How does this story correlate to V killing a hundred dudes? Um, my V has actually not killed that many people. A few scavengers here and there. Oh, this is cute. Awesome. Cyber time. Oh, for real? Well, what do you think? I'm gonna blast the shit out of these kids. Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get Yeah. We can't let that filth <laughs> Joan McLean. Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Yes! Oh, I've heard of cops like you. Cool. A lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. This is cute. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare. Hold on, that's a really. It's a cool looking photo, I think. I mean, I'll take it. Actually, hold on a second. Yeah, cool. Alright. Face! El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst! But I know we can beat him! The city's most evilest mastermind ever. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. This is so adorable. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado. And take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams. Us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. 
The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. AV, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. I'm so gonna annihilate these children. Hope you kids are ready to eat dirt. I'm gonna put you in the ground. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! Aw. Let the kids win around is is a quest objective. Man, come on now. Yeah. It's a little toy gun. Pew 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 pew. Next round, next round. This way. It must be their rat infested hideout. <laughs> optional. <laughs> Smell the moral decay from a mile off. It does say optional. They're just kids, man. Let them win. <laughs> or I, c I could win. Those kids. Those kids lose now. They can win later when they fight. When they compete with other children. This is the way of the world, okay? If I don't win now, I never will. Not done yet. Not half bad. Come on, Callahan. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. What the? Just shoot, shoot here. Right here. Come on. Is that all you got? No. Okay, that's all of them. I think, I think we're trying to let each other win right now. Well, I guess in that case, I guess I have to win, right? I mean, right? 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 Oh, shit! It's out of the way, citizen. Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning. Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. That's really cute. Oh, that dude's playing along. He went to the he went to the couch. His slow ass to walk up. <laughs> Too slow. Too many donuts. Treat this like a lol match, yeah? You may be playing against literal children, but you should not let up even for a goddamn second, especially if they put into text chat anything about their mother being sick. Computer crash, I don't care. Welcome to the world, asshole. Everyone hates you here. Thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the ERP, fellas. Some last words? Fine. Out with it, scumbag! I wanna see you squirm. No! Your last words! <laughs> oh, come on! Another ambush? Okay, so now... Lunch is ready. Mm, but, Mom! You almost had him! Oh, you'll get him next time. Aw, that's cute. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. Oh, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you too. Hey, open fire! Ah, uh, Cor, thank you. Kids appreciate that. That, that cheer is going directly to feed these cyber kids. Is it game fun? Because they are cute cyber awesome! kids. <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this untroubled in a while. Dang it, Robert. What about you? 
Cyber Chow. Everything all the way up. This kind of looks like Final Fantasy 15 food now. Some of these can be bright, so I'm apologizing in advance. I like it. I actually like that a lot. I think there's a red version of that? Yeah. Yeah. Red Dead 2 food's still better? I mean, the only Red Dead 2 food I really remember is like cans of beans. Just shoving whole cans of beans directly into my mouth. Um, I believe you though. For me, I guess Final Fantasy XV still has the food, the food crown, Family? video game food crown. Or just relations. Ooh. You used to see family as baggage. Some oh, Cinderblock! Thanks for the back. sub. You know, career first. Didn't do any better for not having one though. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Josh. Ooh. Well, Josh. I it. Been watching the Doom Eternal commentary playthrough. I have only seen the first two thirds of the cultist base level. So I need to um you to say that himself. I need to catch up. That's a great series though. I wish I wish more games would do something like that. Carol, thank you for the resub. Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Also, King Egg, I'll have you know that, uh, uh-oh, awkward. Well, that's decided. Oh. Got an 11.99, officer. <sighs> Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Oh, no. That's really good. That's really good. That's that's a lot more like clever and inventive than just hey, hey V, I think I like not you. To get eaten by a monster or anything. Think of Judy. I am, I am. Luxor says thank you for the cheer. River, don't Thanks, worry. Joss. Don't worry, River. <laughs> I'm gonna do all this again and I will suck your dick. You just gotta wait, my man. You can River is River's Whew, situation big with time hetero, right? You have to be female V. What partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. This a romantic stroll, by chance? Not about to pick you flowers, if that's what you're asking. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views. Right. This way <laughs> Judy won't care if you fuck him. <sighs> Fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Okay. On our way. Yeah. I could have double jumped, but I want him to I want him to feel like he's doing well. Dazzle. First impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Brandy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. You have the Akira bike yet? No. I do need to get that, though. If you remind me after this quest, I'll go I'll go see if I can afford it. I don't know how much it is. I have 102. 102,000 eddies? Actually. Just for let me check. I don't know what it's called. Um, I guess I assumed that there would be photos. Makoto?
Oh, I may not even have the quest to get it. I'm not seeing it. Oh, Kusanagi, not Makoto. Okay. I don't remember seeing that either, but... Oh, there it is. Eh. Oh, 22? That's it? Oh. Oh. Well then. Well. I should go get it. Um, I'm gonna go use the rest of them. I'm gonna go get that piss. I'll be right back. You will travel to yep. a time more Come for the cyberpunk gameplay. Stay for the weird commercials in which Keanu is trying to have sex with a cat. That doesn't make any sense to somebody watching Apparently on YouTube right the now. Worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. I find it calming. Is this some French bullshit? Okay, I'm gonna kiss this guy. I'm gonna kiss him. Ooh. Scrapers actually seem pretty majestic from out here. Not seeing what goes on inside. Memories? High stress, dirty backstabs, kind of pressure that gives you ulcers. Somehow, I just don't miss it. Got something for you. Wow. What's the occasion? Damn. That's a cool looking gun. Aiming to close the door. The stage of my life is done. This dude's dick is basically in my mouth already. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. That's okay. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. Ever feel alone? Of course I do. Kiss him on the lips. <laughs> relationships. I doubt you know who you're talking to. I don't to. know. No. I'm a master of disastrous relationships. Ooh, not the ad. Thank you. I'll for the need some evidence. Smash one relationship to pieces along with the fucker's jaw. Why? What'd he do? Said I was too aggressive for him. <laughs> Kidding. He had a side bitch. Caught him fucking between the sheets I'd bought. Poof. Classic. All right. So, just to explain. There's someone who comes in here with an annoying gimmick. That's what that was. Um, my patience has been running thin and it just keeps getting tested. So, escalation. Do that shit again and get banned. Cut it out, be normal, please. Yeah, enough. It's fun for a minute. Like, my gosh. You gotta let it go. go I was one. only ever in love once. I was a shithead. Well, he was... He was great. But... Well, Piro, it's... It's, he had it's nothing worth... Uh, quirks. Nothing worth sheets. discussing. I mean, found that out later. Just a boring troll, that's get all. hard without a mask on. And not the Venetian carnival kind, but U.S. presidents. <laughs> a closet full. The hell? Had to dump him. And only fuck Honest Abe so many times. <laughs> Abe's got that chin, though. I don't, you made that up. No, I didn't No, no, seriously. Booked a skydiving experience for this one guy I was dating. And he never came back. Oh, V. I'm sorry. I know what it means when somebody close dies. Dies? No. No, no, no. Just 
fallen out of that plane, he fell in love with his instructor. All of her stories have a weird twist. But it don't beat my last serious liaison. What did you do? I shot her. Shut up. Had no choice. Found ourselves standing on opposite sides of the law. But don't worry. Never made it a habit. I'm done shooting the women I date. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, P. Come and get it, River. Too late. All right, smooch time. Ah, oof, that was that was in there. Judy would understand. <laughs> She'd want this for me. Oh my god. Oh, okay. We're gonna quiet bang like parents in their 30s. Show me that dick! Yeah, you're looking at the wrong thing. God. You can like hear the kids snoozing. Hell yeah. Still got it. Mm. This is why we have RTX turned on. On the floor? <laughs> yep. He's got a spring in his step. Came in to see V fucking. Nice. Yep. It's always a good day in Night City. You can get laid. Good shit. Yeah, they definitely heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was interesting, the, like, audio design. It definitely, like, had to find a way to be quiet, but, like, awkward, but fun, but still intense. It, it had an interesting, it had an interesting vibe about it, for sure. Now I'm gonna look at his, I'm gonna look at his messages. Oh, well, that's not that exciting. What, Johnny? What do you gotta say? Christ, V. Can't believe you're making me fuck a cop. Gonna go plug my ears, gouge out my eyes. Oh, oh. There was no dildo use zero out of ten. I mean, you don't know. Hey, coffee will be ready in a jiff. Uh, mm. Oh, Prem. Talked in your sleep, you know. Yeah. I dreamt of a warehouse, searching containers in it. Warehouse must have been huge. <laughs> you were loud. Taste it. Best coffee you've ever had, I bet. Oops. I should have read that. Best Ooh. jambalaya, best coffee. Mm -hmm. Come on. Should have been a BJ going. scene. Yeah. I agree. Just that. We gotta wait for the patches, though. So, I've been thinking. And that 1.08, yeah. like two pages down. Last night, you and me. Restored blowjob scene. Where, you know, longer term. This is kind of interesting, though, because, yeah, V's terminal condition kind of gives her a in-character oh, cannon oh. out to any kind of discussion like that. Which actually makes it a pretty uh, unique narrative device. Or a pretty uh, convenient narrative device. Jog's like, I can't not ditch him. I got a I got a fucking chip erasing my brain. One way or the other, this is gonna this is gonna end pretty quickly. Listen, River. What happened? It was real. It was good. But 
Or we'll denight you off the job. Make any plans Pizza's delivered. Everyone in the town is feasting. Tell me about. I know. Call it veteran cop intuition. It's why I told you about my parents. Hmm. Give me courage. Boost it. Oh, no. So you'd know exactly how fucked up I am. Give you a chance to consider if you even want me. <laughs> River. I'm dying. Wanna haggle on? Try to outdo that? What? Wasn't just me you spent the night with. Oh man. Sharon headspace with a Whoa, just gonna straight up tell him, okay. Alright. All because of an experimental Arasaka biochip. Oh, I thought he was gonna spit take for a second. <laughs> John Reeves! He's mine. That would have been awesome. An engram of Johnny Silverhand. Yes. Oh sure. That Silverhand. He's like taking a big sip too. And it's getting worse. But Imagine being told that though. I'm oh sorry. man. Oh dude. You like it's 2 a.m., you know, you're washing out of the bar. She's, you know, she seems nice. Uh, the next morning, you're like, hey, here's some coffee. Hey, hey, by the way, Keanu Reeves is in my head, and you made love to him, too. And he didn't say the nicest things. Oh, man. Oh, man, being in that kitchen. Just mug a coffee in your hand with somebody telling you that you just spirit-fucked Keanu Reeves. Just. It's one of the... It? Too early. You're talking to V right now. But tomorrow, this could be a self-obsessed dickhead rocker boy. And trust me, you don't want to talk to him. How is that even possible? He's displacing my own neural net, River. Gradually destroying my brain. But it's reversible, right? Uh, there's no way you could actually kill you. Jesus. Actually, he's all chest. Doesn't look promising. Need to excise him. Get him out of my brain before it's too late. He has like skin skin texture. Shit. So, I think we ought to take it easy. You shouldn't get attached. Bullshit, V. It doesn't change a thing. Question That's is, crazy. What do you want? Are you willing to give this a shot? What? Well, wait. This isn't going to be a, a problem with Judy? Whatever. Whatever, it's just kind of a thing. It's just a thing. You know, sometimes you just do that. This works, River. I like being around you. Call Let's Judy after and see. Yeah, I'll let her know. Let's give it a try. But if it doesn't work, we'll still be friends, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. Nick Laffey. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy yeah. comes back. Visa, Visa Polly, it's Don't fine. Don't mind me. And Everyone knows that. I said hello. Oh, damn. I'm just wearing... I'm sorry, V. Wearing a t-shirt? Will I see you later? My little sauce, yeah. my little hot dog legs. Have a good day, then. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but... Jeez. Well, time to put on all my, my sick gear again. Oh, I can wear the, the sequin hat now. Awesome. Great. Uh, I think I was wearing this. 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 Oh, there we are. I look cool. I look very cool. This is a, it's a brain magnifier. Electricity's out. All the sequins enhance my brain waves as I electrofry everyone with my cyber mind. But 
Then one... all the brawler missions? Yeah, Jogs. Those were fun and uh, weird. <laughs> the, the animations in them were kind of funky, but once you sort of drill through that and figure out the actual gameplay, it was kind of fun. It was pretty repetitive, but I liked it. Yeah, all the beat on the brat missions, of course. Hey, what's up, Pop-Tart? You've been listening silently. No worries. That is the that is the true freedom of everyone on Twitch. I'm here for you. If you want me muted, uh, projected onto the side of a skyscraper, I don't know, reflected off of an orbital mirror, uh, I can be wherever you need me to be. Hello. Llegaste hace poco? I guess so. Call Judy? Yeah. Good. Oh, no. Shit. Alright, I'll call Judy. That's cute. Got a little message from Caesar, this baby, the little baby chain. I like it. That's adorable. All right. Everything's fine. Just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Everything's fine. Nothing special. Same old story. Same old thing. I'd rather hear about you. Nothing new to say. Well. It was nice catching up. Hey, have a good one. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. Sure do love you. Hey, it's video. It's video games. It's fine. I did it in the sick car since Caesar texted about it. It appears our sitting mayor, Lucius Ryan, will. Yes, yeah, Akira bike. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Another four years. The latest polls have Ryan swirling. All right, I'm gonna go buy this bike so I can be cool. I can finally be cool. Jefferson. Then I'm gonna take a food break. Cause there's a chicken bowl over there with my name on it. I'm gonna eat that. It's gonna give me the cyber power I need. To cyberpunk like crazy. You say so. Good morning. Make sure you do the Akira slide. It's not super it easy a hologram? to slide bikes like that in this game. It's clear, open skies, but don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Oops. But maybe that's just because I'm giving up. Maybe it's because I forgot my champion spirit. Let's do it, IRL. Ooh. I have slid my bike before in the rain. It did feel very cool. I'm not going to lie. You're running RTX. Yes. RTX is on. Yeah, I have a 3080. I was very, very lucky. Oops. feel about the driving in this game? I don't mind it. I think it's, um, it's serviceable. It enables, it's good enough to enable my enjoyment of driving around Night City. Um, I think, I think it could stand to improve in a couple of areas, but I think, I think it's pretty close. It feels pretty good to me. Um, I think it's better than, like, Watch Dogs 1. Um, maybe around where GTA 4 was. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit less than GTA 4, but... For a first, like, for a first attempt at driving, I think it's really solid. The minimap is fucking annoying. That's very true. Um, when it comes to GTA, they could learn a lot from how the minimap operates in that game. Um, but yeah. 
I think the, the driving physics is actually shockingly good. Find a stranger's no virtual waypoints, like um, AR things. Yeah, that that feels like something that could have been included, but you know, the game wasn't finished. Maybe they'll add it in a patch or something. Cool. There we go. The stickers on it? It doesn't seem like it's a complete Akira bike. More like inspired by. You wanted my thoughts on Breath of the Wild? I would rename it Climb of the Wild. I do like it even though I swear it rains every time I play. Yeah, you do... Climbing is a pretty important, a pretty constant uh, action in that game for sure. So yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, there are some parts of the map that rain more than others. And it becomes less of an issue the more you like get spirit orbs and level up and stuff. There's also like food that can make you stock up more stamina before you start climbing. So it's something you kind of get used to. You get used to eyeballing the kinds of climbs you can and can't make. Or uh, figuring out how to... Like if you're carrying stamina on you, little stamina ups, you can just eat an emergency thing or two. But, yeah. You spent a lot of Breath of the Wild stuck to the side of a cliff, that's for sure. Like that's about as much as you can as you can like drift the bike without it uh just turn going backwards. Yeah, that song is so good. It's actually a really, really good track. Um, but you know it's also good chicken. I'm gonna go eat some. Because I'm pretty sure the food's here, so. Hope you're living up the cyberpunk experience. Are you at least a woman character? Oh yes. I am a cyber lady. Ooh, this one's really good too. Really like this song. All right, time to pro it up. See you guys soon. Ooh, ooh. Who's that guy who's back? Who's back? It's this guy. Who's got an Akira bike? It's also this guy. These guys, I just ate a lot of vegetables. I ate a lot of spinach. I ate a lot of uh, chicken. It was a great meal. There was a little ababobo. Okay, I guess it's um it's time for more time for more main story, which uh, actually I'm shockingly shockingly behind on. If the this one is any oh that's why I don't have to get on the bike. Right, right, right. Got your greens. Oh, I had plenty of greens. They might be stuck in my teeth. I didn't see- I don't see anything in my monitor, so I might be okay. Um, how much space does media tech take up on your M2s? Not much, uh, because H.264 is a really efficient, uh, codec for one. And then for two, frequently, uh, this video is not even 1080p. It's well below that. So you can get minutes of video out of a, like, 10 megabytes. And it- it looks good. It looks good enough for Twitch. Um, I, and then the source material is not that high quality either. So it takes up a shockingly small amount of space. It really does. The source media is quite a bit bigger. Shit quality adds to the effect. I mean, that's like... That's largely connected to the source. And the fact that I... Hey... Got some cool dialogue for you. If you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. Round the clock hotline. That is not funny. 
It's kind of not funny. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. Ooh, James. Thanks for the surprise. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless. I feel like I'm supposed to be seeing something right now that's not just Takamura. There are many ways to reach them. Yeah. The first is There's a cutscene that's not playing. Should not be a problem. The second is worse. I'll just use you my mind. Have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the This is probably really cool looking. We are here. Is it like wireframe? It's like flying through zoom. Doot, 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 doot. And like listing all these stats and stuff. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. Yeah. But the it's all like cyber and shit. Even better. Reloading should fix it? Oh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> this seems like a pretty significant chunk of the game. <laughs> it's very cyber rear. I want it to be cyber rear. I love cyber -y things. You know that. I know that. Shit, I gotta play more Ghost Runner. Fuck, man. How are there so many games? How am I so bad at finishing games? How's that? How am I still playing Cyberpunk? Jeez. Jesus Christ. Cyber. <laughs> you can't just make everything cyber. <laughs> Psycho burr. I can't remember if I've heard this before. Hey, what's up, Toe Cutter? Yeah. Very weird line from Doc Paradox. Been a long start to the year with Zoom classes. Glad I could catch a little bit of the stream. Oh, well, welcome, Drake. Not the rapper. V, just in time. Are you just... Is school just going from Zoom appointment to Zoom appointment now? Hold on, I gotta do it again. I gotta roast him. Let's see if it works. Hey! The malware works. Truly, much better. Than this is I extremely am. cyber. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. Yes, one hundred percent. Jesus, Drake. Before that sounds day. really, really boring. There are many ways to reach them. Man. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thing. If this sounds dangerous, so we have a stealth mission. That's pretty cool. I must leap to the float, enter through a window, and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Yes, I am. Um, here's what I'm curious about. Theoretically, I my skill should completely invalidate everything that's about to happen. So either I won't be able to quick hack the snipers, 
Um, ideally, there will be like a, a game design reason I can't get, I can't just look at them and, and put them to sleep. Maybe they're in like hack proof rooms, they're on different networks, uh, something like that. I think that would be ideal. So I'm curious if they're going to find a way to make me play through the level properly or if if the game is that broken. Wait, if, if things go to shit, we got to back up. I can always use the power of my mind. What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront. Got to physically knock them out. That that is what I would expect. There are no I'm wondering if there's a reason why. Uh, or if it's just no bro, you have to play the level. Without like trying to square that with the narrative or or your abilities outside of this level. Lance fucked beyond all recognition. Yet here I am. I know, and I thank you for this. Ah, thank me once it works. Now get in position. Very well. Wait for my signal. Stay safe, Coral. Okay, I will. Good thing I just invested in weight skill. Oh, shit. Oh, it's so cyber! Putting that holographic koi to good use. The floors have started to move. That's pretty cool. Remember to be careful while you will face Arasaka drones. Hold on. I'm getting I'm getting my sex. Oh. I also spotted the Netrana in her Arasaka uniform. She is somewhere. Hidden. Okay. Good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach all snipers before Hanagosama's float appears. Huh? This is so cool. Oh man. Jeez. Is it like, is it actually timed? so many pictures on this level yeah I, I kinda I kinda don't want to just cuz I kinda want to take it all in you know I feel like interrupting stopping the game to take photos Saburo Arasaka the poor chap world's most powerful turned into a commercial hack surprised he's a symbol an icon even in death his net worth increased markedly Soldier. Back up. I guess if it's timed, I just get to play the sequence again, which is all right. You know I'm going for that lore. Oh, oh, they don't let you jump. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, that's how they make you play the level. Got it. Are you telling me there's lore just out of reach? Is this what I'm hearing? Oh, you have to go behind. I'm getting that lore. I think. They just spawn in the world. Yeah. I don't think they're like unique or anything. Hack the crowd. God, I wish. That's when I know I've truly ascended. Don't think you can get those. Yeah, it's probably just. They're just like lower nodes in the world. And since they're using the world environment for this part, they just spawned in. You are close. He's almost in front of you. He's watching the crowd. Jesus. That he's back. Won't know what hit him. He won't. <laughs> it's pieces of my skull. Damn it. The game crashed. <laughs> oh, shit. Oof. Boy, that hurts. All right, let's... Hey, I got an achievement. Great. Oh, a secret achievement. I don't even get to know what it is. That's how secret it is. <laughs> That's Night City, baby. 
<laughs> strong mind. Yeah, blew me out of the game. <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay, I was getting a little too immersed. That's my fault. Oh yeah, it's the reverse centaur. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It is it's terms of service friendly, and it is because I said that, so you guys aren't allowed to be offended. Nice desktop. Thank you. It actually it's random. Uh it's on a roulette. It just cycles through a random amount of uh, internet photos and memes that I have saved over the years. Some people have impressive meme collections, and hats off to them. Um, but I have more of what I'd call like a meme dungeon, if you will. It's kind of like a it's like a whole ecosystem that I I just have abandoned and contribute to occasionally. If you don't have the horse-sized dick, then what's even the point? Yeah, you're right. I mean, what what better way to lose to lose one's livelihood than to whoopsie, whoopsie and broadcast a centaur cock to hundreds of people? You know, we've all been there. Tale as old as time, really. I think I think I read about that in a Reader's Digest like 30 years ago. Here we go. All right. That's okay, I just get to do it again. I haven't added anything to my meme folder in over a decade, but damn what a blast from the past it is looking through there. You've gotta you gotta keep it up, you gotta keep it curated. Now I save all my hot memes to my phone and then I do like dumps. I'll connect my phone up to my PC and just dump out the downloads folder. I mean, folders common. I mean, I don't know. I think so. For the for the the meme applicators, the those that the that view memes as an application of, of martial arts, sort of a linguistic combat of imagery. They kind of uh. I'm sure that some people have meme folders that are kind of like. You know when James Bond like goes to a secret spy cave and there's all these like cutouts for guns into the wall? I'm sure some people have meme folders like that where they go and it's like It's like all their tools laid out in front of them, easily sorted, ready to access. Polished and shiny. Okay. I see it I see the mind now. I don't think I'm smart enough to do anything with that. I'm not. It's going. yeah, slowly. Oop. Can't hack it? It didn't- there wasn't a hack interface, no. That's alright. Just gotta think laterally. Mark! So many fucking sad faces. <laughs> That's the best reply. I don't want a fucking sad face! What's your goddamn problem? What made you think that was an acceptable thing to do right now? You're pissing me off with this. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Has anyone made any well-received mods for this game yet? I, hmm. Last I checked it was a bunch of pretty superficial stuff. Um, some of the more well-received mods I recall being just like gameplay tweaks and um, performance tweaks. Like an eye and eye, something that sets a bunch of stuff uh, that that gives performance enhancement. Um, a lot of very a lot of custom V's, a lot of pre-made V's and stuff. How much is? What about family insurance? Nah, that's not much. Uh, okay, I I'll, I'll figure it out. Man, that's very, very cool. Astoundingly, extreme, extremely cool. Okay. So from here, I can zap his brain. Yeah, I probably can't ping those enemies before you get close to them. They probably don't spawn in. If I were to place my bets. Bearded 
Chunky next to the balloon stand. Took out the one closer. Now you must leap to the balcony by the green arrow and the take the leap. Plane. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. That's weird. All right. Oh, is a vehicle skin one? Okay. Yeah, I haven't um, I haven't checked in a, uh, about a week. Um, and the mod scene moves pretty fast when a game first comes out, so there might be some more. Fuck yourself! More interesting stuff going on now. Again. Over and out. Hmm. It is just as we expected. Oda is here. Have they released the toolkit for this game yet? I don't think With so. News. When did that happen relative to Witcher 3's release? Because Witcher 3 seemed pretty uh, mod friendly by the time that I played it, but I played it 2018, I think is I when I started it. Out ogre. What? Adam what? fucking smasher. Sorry, what? Oh. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Saburo, I'll have to be satisfied with Smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine. We. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Mod kit was officially released August 14, 2015. That was like what, one year after the game came out? Right? Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. No surprises here. All the factions have peeps. Oh, same year. Oh. Wow, okay. Hey, I think something tells me it might be a bit of a longer wait this time around. Something tells me. A little a little red bird. That was clever, you guys. Stable. I'm sure Takamura didn't. Fuck! Almost fell. Carefully, you must not draw attention. Shut up, Johnny. Silence is not golden. <sighs> Man, God damn! For one second, though, just for one second, could you guys imagine? How badass you would feel if for any reason you could jump on top of an elevator car, pop open an emergency hatch on the top and then drop into it, or just jump through an emergency hatch of any kind. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be a very exciting thing to do. Especially if there's like some big kachunky lever you gotta move first. Oh, you'd feel so cool. Damn. That should be like a part of an escape room or something. Jump it through a... It would hurt your knees, that's true. Yeah, most people can't like drop 10 feet. Action hero landings are, are, are tough. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. You'd have Karens like busting ass and and breaking their breaking their legs and stuff. Uh maybe just jump into like a like a ball pit or something. A big thump thump lever? Yeah. Ooh, that would feel good. Anyway. Anyway, we gotta okay, so we gotta workshop the idea. Make him we gotta just get down somehow. Make everyone sign an ironclad waiver. Yes. Just so. Don't run. I mean, I can... I need you alive. Not the corpse below. Interesting. Huh. Let's see here. 
There. Yeah, what's the... I mean, I'll get... We just kind of lock out other quick hacks. That's how they, how they try to keep you honest. Whatever, I'll just stumble forward like an idiot. Visionary. My father. These words are not for his friends, members of his family, or for his Oh, that's like you being detected? They are for his That's a little harsh. And it is no coincidence that I utter them here in this We're getting shot with a scan beam. Years ago in Night City, that our enemies show their true colors. A cowardly act of terrorism that consumed 4,000 lives. Oh boy. I gotta admit, I wasn't really paying attention to the, the speech. The lives of night citizens. Arasaka Tower crumbled. And yet, and yet its spire still towers over the rooftops and skyscrapers. It towers more powerful and enduring than ever before. Recently, my father fell victim to an equally cowardly act of violence. You've been playing stealthily? Yeah, sort of. I haven't needed to lately. My brain is so big now that merely by being close to people, I can, I can think them out of existence. Um, I'm, I keep doing breach protocol to just to stack the uh, HP on it. So it's cool. Uh, but this is this is my real power. Nothing personnel. Oh, it's only worth 15 XP. Oh, I must be too high level. Something. However, I am frequently laid low by the. Uh, oh, this one I can turn off. That's interesting. I swear it wasn't on the other one. Maybe I just didn't look at it right. Yep. That was your fault. I don't know why you thought you could do that. What do soldiers say? Target down. Good words to hear. You will find the door to a staircase at the end of the room. God, that's cool. It's the route to the next sniper. Well, can I see your build? Sure. I'm doing an intelligence cool build, but I'm really only using intelligence. Specifically, really only doing quick hacks. So, basically I have this tree filled in. Uh, Breach Protocol is good for some stuff. Uh, this pairs with the cyber deck that I have, which can allow um, legendary quick hacks to spread. So, basically I have a bunch of stuff to stack that Reduces the cost of casts, reduces the cooldown specifically, and then with all that stuff stacked in an effect, I can basically system reset people, like, infinitely. Um, I do run out of RAM if they're if they're really high level, but yeah, I can just kind of, I can think and put put an entire enemy base to sleep, which is pretty cool. A fucking ninja. <laughs> I guess they're talking about Takamura. P, it is Orage. Listen. We have to announce. Oop. Sorry, Pops. I need my free money. The public safety has been compromised. She must be extracted. Oh no. Is Was I too slow? Oh. Go, go, go! Listen, I need 
How embarrassing. Jesus. This combat music is wild. That's kind of the downside of playing this way, is I don't ever really get to hear the combat track. But I guess everybody's angry at me now. Shit! Ooh, they got me. So that's that's the downside. I'm playing on very hard, and yeah, if I catch a bullet or two, I actually do hit the dirt. So I'm uh, I'm kind of okay with that trade-off, like actually being scared of bullets. Granted, the auto saves are very generous, and the game loads very fast. So the the punishment is uh is mostly imaginary. You're squishy as fuck. Yes, yes I am. It se it seems like a lot of armor comes more from like skills than it does from the armor stat. Like if you actually put points into body or toughness or whatever, you get like percentage bonuses uh, or percentage reductions entirely to like damage types. And I think that's the thing that more in the end game makes you take hits. Your HP pool and um, Keep you posted. and those perks, and I just don't have them. Um, I could probably, like at this point, start leveling that up. But oh, clothing mods, yeah, uh, add quite a and subdermal armor. Good point, yeah. But I think some of that subdermal armor, um, fuck man, it doesn't it require. Um, I thought some of it required an amount of, uh... Sorry. An amount of body stat. But I could be wrong. Part of me hopes that's the case. Like, it'd be lame if I could just go and get an implant and instantly become, like, a... Super ninja. I, I, well, maybe actually that would be pretty cool, too. Level 50 is max. Like, you, you only ever get 50 attribute points. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I guess the ones you get from the skills, too, so... It does seem like there is a, a fair amount of min-maxing you can you can mix in. God, this music is so good. Man, that, that is an intense track. Technically 60 because of the 10 from the start of the game. And then you get you get a few more based on leveling up skills too, it seems, right? Or are those only sk other skill points? heard somebody down here. You get skill points on attribute. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from and if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for the float jets unless you intend to get cooked. I would keep my head low. Is that just for the lore, or will, that, will they actually hurt you? Those pipes look strong. Try to climb them. Are you using the Tetratronic Mark IV? I think so, yeah. Let me check. That sounds really familiar. Yep. The, well, a Tetratronic Rippler Mark IV, but yeah, I think there's only one of those. Look at Fly, thank you very much. I've been with this dress for a while. I think after this mission, 
I want to swap back out of Gorilla Arms. Uh, I want to get my mono wire back. I don't use it, but, you know, it's there. And then, uh, man, I might try to mix up my look. Actually, hold on a minute. When's the next, when's the next, like, street cred? Uh, is it under stats? It is, okay. That's one like 45? Less oh, look at that. Almost there. Oh, wait, well, that's weapons. Never mind. Is there a clothing store? I guess I got the last clothing one then. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Angel Aramis, thank you very much for the cheer. Appreciate that. Ooh, big fish. Mom. 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 What? Shut up, man. Alright, just who cares? Man, rude. Well, that's what they get. They're all asleep now. Actually, just walking into a place, kind of thinking and knocking everyone out, is a pretty laughing man sort of thing to do. We're gonna really Jesus this music. We're gonna lean into these ghost in the shell vibes. So Demo P didn't know net or how high net runners could see through. Yeah, there's a there's a specific uh, quick hack. It's the legendary ping quick hack. Lets you target enemies through walls or lets you ping ping and quick hack people through walls. It's uh it's OP as shit. But I have to see somebody first. That's kind of the thing. It's all about that first engagement. <laughs> if somebody puts a bullet in my head and I go down, that's it. I'm dead. Um, but if I see one person and I can ping everyone on their network, then I can turn everyone off. It's great. They, uh, I, I love that they let it be that OP. I really want to go in there. But there's a ladder there. I'm going to do it. Shoot up the road, stuff the bridge. It was worth it. It's really cool in here. What the fuck is that? A drone? A landmine? Fuck, why can't I? She has taken control of all the networks. Oh, that's why. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Get to the second spy past this. Okay, Shit. Oh, fuck. Whoop. Bad. That was weird. I was like, why can't I why can't I mind zap these stupid robots? Netrunner, I guess, blocks my hack. Can you believe that? Getting hack blocked like that? Yeah, I didn't take my inhaler either. I shoot up hot rolls off the bridge. That would be all. Yes, apparently. Well done. One problem remains. And that is? The Arasaka Netrunner. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Near to the second sniper's nest. Okay, on my way. The 
drones do make pretty cute bleepy bloops. I don't want gum. I want lore. Ugh. What? Oh, fuck you. Monowire has a good range? Yeah. I don't know, I don't... When I can think people to sleep, for the most part. Inhaler, thank you. For the most part, I don't have to worry too much about, uh... Waiting, waiting for me down this hallway the whole time. Surrender immediately. Now, me, I have our attention. Pull out, Harley. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Shit. Of course. Oh, that's interesting. They just don't let you, like, hit him with the instant win skills. Holy shit, this song. Holy fuck. This song is fucking going, you guys. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm a little hack nerd. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Man, I got put under the ground. Oof. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a trial. Yeah, I should have a melee equipped. Oh Christ. Oof. All right. Huh. Hey ah, <laughs> Cyber Fisherman, thank you for the five gifts. On this, the most cyber of days. Crap. Oh, shit, not good. Reboot optics and cripple movement. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit reboot optics quite a bit. And then, um, the shock? Oh, crap. The shock uh, ability does a fair amount of damage. I just have to be able to, like, I need to be able to uh, dodge a, an attack or two. I'm really fixated on this bubblegum right now. Let's, uh... Let's of course you're here. 
Damn it. I thought short circuit was gonna stun him more than that. Holy fuck. Oh dear. Ooh dear. Okay. Now we get to experiment. Also, where am I? What am I allowed to save? Jump over the thing. Eh. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just shoot him. Uh, this time. Let me think. What else was I gonna do? Well, nothing really. Just want to try a different, different quick hacks on him and see what works. Is there any way to stun? Reboot Optics might do it. Manual saving still active until you pull the wire. Uh, I think it registers me as being in combat with the drones or something. Smart weapon would be ideal. I do. I mean, I do have one of those. It's right here. I think. I think that's a smart weapon. Oh, no. It's Tech's Precision Rifle. I think it's you. Yeah. Smart assault rifle. Great. Oh, shit. Not good. Yeah, drone drone detected me. I guess I can just destroy all the drones. Because I don't think it'll let me switch guns either since I'm technically in combat. Never mind. Wait a minute. Mods for this. I mean, crit damage, maybe? Yeah. That reminds me. He's on. Get the crit. Save now. It doesn't. It says that I'm in combat, so I think I might have to kill the drone. Nah. Been on a while. Time for a break. Where are you? Fuck! Of course you're here. What? Oh, I don't have the- I don't know if I have the hands installed for this. I think I- I think I took them off. Shit. Oh, they're getting him. Never mind. This music just goes so goddamn hard. So slow. What the? Oh, no stamina. Yeah, you're right. I managed to. It's not coming Hello. back. Is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. You and your fucking sick sense of honor. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna hack this first, though. Your lucky day, though. Steal the shoes? I mean, I took everything else. I feel like Takamura should have the right to decide. You can thank your old friend, Goro. It is I who thank you. This is friend, kinda? Yeah! I don't want to do that to... to old Takamura. 
Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. That was a... Goes inside. Oh, shit. Trying to call someone, I think. I probably shouldn't have a digital wobbly cyber view right now. Oh, boy. Oof. Let's see here. Fuck. That's like... Yeah. <laughs> That's before the, the boss fight. It hasn't saved since then. Alright, well. We should reload? No, I shouldn't. That dress is really cool. Quick save? I don't think I can. I don't think it lets me save right now. Yeah. Girl. All systems jammed. It's now or never. Derp. My digi-cancer got me. Is he kidnapping a girl? He's kidnapping the, like, heir to the most powerful, biggest corporation on the planet. Yeah. Yes. We are- it's- it's like you're heisting Jeff Bezos right now, basically. Fuck! For real? Aw, oh, derp. Alright, this is the first time that, like, a- a glitch- Fuck off, man. It's the first time that a glitch in Cyberbug is really bumming me out. Oh, Alright, well, here. Take out these dumbass drones. And then I can get my stuff all arranged and then save. I mean, technically it wasn't the glitch that got me killed. Uh, still pretty wild that you do that entire sequence without a, a save point. Or the ability to save. Yeah, come here, asshole. Fuck you. Boy, that was not a good idea. We. I got an autosave, it must be a bug. Yeah, I should probably relaunch the game. Also a good idea. Let me try to kill these stupid robots again. Dumbass robots are there. Jesus. Oh. Okay, I saved. Ah, okay. Let's equip this bad boy. I guess I'll put on the crit. You can replace mods, right? You just can't get them back? Is that correct? Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. Okay, that is correct. Okay, good. Saving. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was weird when I was like, I couldn't run, or I couldn't move quickly in the boss fight. It's like, this is harder than it needs to be. Why'd they do this? I think the, uh, the, I got stuck in cyber cancer, uh, status. 
<laughs> Next run will definitely do it. <laughs> it will. Oh shit, not good. Are we doing well this evening? Uh, Junior Mint or JR Mint? I'm doing pretty great. Doing pretty good. Had a great day so far. I have audition. And I get to play Cyberpunk now? Well, that's cool. I like this game. Okay, yeah, no. let's do this now. So yeah, no complaints. How are you doing? Hope you're hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a nice day. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. All right. Come out with your hands in the air. Been on a while. Time for a break. Did you enjoy the parade? Oh, it was really cool. Very neat sequence. Danger. Of course you're here. get to hear the song again, so that's good. What the heck? Fuck. Like, why were all the bolts going through him? That was weird. This fight glitched for me for my bo- Uh, both on my first two run-throughs? Oh. Well, I feel lucky about this one. Smart weapons can't lock on while close range. Oh, okay. And I guess, yeah, that's true. He is a cyber ninja Banana. after all. Time for a break. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a save file there. There's a save there. Of course you're here. Everything's just kind of like... Everything's kind of like flying away. Jesus. All right. Some characters have smart gun jammers. Yeah, maybe that's part of it. Cause like, in the um, in the other fight, it seemed like it wasn't locking on, and then all of a sudden it did. So I don't understand. Yeah, don't quite know what was going on there. But <laughs> you're a villain. Thank you very much for the 13 months of sub. Time for a break. Fuck! Now it's like maybe short circuit fries out whatever blocker he has. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, after short circuit, everything hits him. Where'd you go? Hey. Okay, cyber dodging. Okay, like I guess he has to run out of stamina or something. Out. I. I managed to. He's got high reflexes. Oh, yeah. Is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. Take his shoes again. Oh, I will. There should be nothing standing in your way now. I have to jump. Though. We press forward. Get another pair of shoes. These are mine now. You and your fucking sick sense of honor. Hello? Where are you? <laughs> Today's <laughs> your lucky day, though. Who's that? <laughs> you can thank your old friend, Goro. It is I who thank you, B. Hello? Oh, man. Put his hand in warm water, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Prem. 
online and in the system. I get to watch this sequence again without the Hanako's video inside. jerking all around. She do it? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. Ooh. During this fight, Oda glitched in midair and I had to parkour my loot from the sky. Just... <laughs> I'll rob you if you're hovering midair, you jerk. Girl, all systems jammed. It's now or never. Why can't I romance Hanako? We but we must humbly wait for mods to restore the content that CD Project has robbed from us. I like how every plan V's involved when with ends with like somebody very important getting shot. We just dealt to the fuck out of here. I don't think I'm allowed to kill those. Or maybe I did? You have no right to keep us here! Go fuck yourself! You're safe! Ooh, ooh. That's how you get out. I look okay to you. We're about to go live. Man, that Three, hair. Two, one. This is Jillian Jordan of N54 News coming to you live from Japantown, where a commemorative parade in honor of Saburo Arasaka descended into chaos today. Eyewitnesses we've spoken to described a shootout on one of the celebratory floats. Oh, I can hack the camera. Is said to have been... Unfortunately, I have no further details to report at this time. We are still awaiting an official statement from the Arasaka Corporation regarding these events. As the situation continues to be brought under control, we urge everyone to avoid Kanzaki Street. Get in the shot. Hey, Mark, you want TV? My TV? Johnny Silverhand rules! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Cool. That was an awesome mission. Hup! Ooh. I might as well get a car. Oops. I'll take a little huff and then I'll get a car. Oh, she does say something if you jump in the middle. <laughs> That's awesome. I love how the handlebars like retract inside of it when you're... It's not being ridden. Just another day in that city. That's kind of cool. The way that the ki the the rider like drops into the turn like that. Ooh, slippery. Soul Strider, thank you very much for the prime. Ooh. Night time though. It's whatever time you want it to be. It's the power of the mind. Ah, damn it! Brr. Oh, 
Oh, gone fishing. Thank you for the prime as well. Oops. Do I get to see Takamura's place finally? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh. My girlfriend got a gun for me. Yay. Judy's so thoughtful. Ride that. Ah, okay. I was like, there's no way they're gonna let me ride this in here. They let me get pretty far. Bring back for Takamura. I thought that's what I was doing. Yeah. Actually, hold on a minute. I'm curious. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's, that's right, it's up one. Ooh! Here we go! Bang! And I guess beyond this, I'll just dump into intelligence. Why? I mean, give me more RAM. More quick heck damage. That's that's what I'm all in on at this point. Why not? I want this. I want to start buying this. I gotta I have to quick hack so many times, so much, to get that that big brain skill. Just oh, brains flying off in every direction. Master Ram Brain? Yeah. I want to have so much Ram that my brain explodes out in Ram waves in every direction. That's the goal. That's what we play Cyberpunk for. We get Ram Brain. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it right. Okay, come inside. Quick. I fear that they had a coach. Right about now, Hanukkah's the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So, every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. Unfortunately, here, I'll reload it. Because I'm kind of curious what happens. So you just just shoot your ass like bullets through the door. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, people say choices don't matter. <laughs> yeah, that was violent. Awesome. Alright. Yeah, Takamura doesn't fuck around. For sure. Takamura's all awesome. Okay, come inside. Quick. I fear that they had a coach. Right about now. So... I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. I don't know, I got relic brain. Oh my god. I'm sorry that we have to speak under such circumstances. That is the second time today I have heard that. 
I was there that night at Konpeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. It's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Look, I know it's a lot to take in, let alone believe. Also know you're an honorable person, worthy of trust. And that's why I want to make you an offer. You? Make me an offer? The relic your brother tried to hawk off to net watches in my head. Right now. Took a bullet to the brain, but the tech on the chip saved me. Now, it's slowly killing me. One of your personality constructs, engrams. It's overriding my psyche. Gotta stop the process before it's too late. Know you got the means to help me. Hanako-sama, this is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama. That's a lot to take in. That's a lot. It's a lot to believe. Did you hear that? Go and check. What? Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Absolutely saving Takamura. But uh how does one do that? Enemy contact! I'm engaging! Oh fuck. Maybe like this. A <laughs> different approach? <laughs> What happens when you got springy legs? Interesting. A unique approach. A bold strategy. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't play Deus Ex. Yeah, you gotta come back for Paul. I actually didn't know you could do that. For like two years, I loved Deus Ex and I had no idea you could go back and save him. It blew my mind. I felt like I was like in another dimension when I saw that the first time in the game. gotta be like part of another quest I bet what are you are you supposed to be moving uh... oh they got stuck in a monster closet Door didn't open. Shit. Um. Damn, I was hoping that would get him. Tomo, you got you got banned from the Bud Light 
power streamer hour or whatever. How'd you manage that? Something's not right here. Maybe I didn't do this right. Yeah, you shill for Miller. <laughs> What are you doing, dude? You did it right, it's just bugged. Uh oh. Or I guess I I did the objectives out of order. What the fuck? You need legendary ping? I have it. That's unfortunately not the issue. Yeah, I just jumped up the hole, which I don't think I was supposed to do. Um, hold on a minute. Great. I thought there were dudes in there. It sounded like it. Yeah. I'll have to... Wait, hold on. Quick save. Jumping up there alone doesn't break the quest. I've done that before. Okay, I'll just try it again. Oh, oops. Damn it. <laughs> we'll just skip that part. Dunk. Could just take the stairs. Yeah, I'll ch I'll try doing it a normal way. Oh wait. Ah. Oh okay. This is the possible. it again. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, there's like all this gunfire happening and there are empty rooms to the right. It's our only chance. Yeah, the door's just not opening. Oh, he made it out of the room this time.
Okay. I don't know about doing the stuff out of order. Is the idea that you have to play through the sequence, like, while he's getting shot at on the floor above and make it through before he goes down? Because that's kind of neat. I like that. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is... Someone hitting me through a wall? I think I think I might have been getting cyber hacks. Do you have the prick that lights up the guy hacking you? I, I do, but I've never really seen it work. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I don't. I need more RAM. I need, I need disk defragment to run. man's up there. It's much more obvious if you don't use ping. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, the, I mean, there was definitely an orange, an orange person there. Oh, shucks, I lost my ping. Ah. You have to, like, keep the ping active. Otherwise, you lose track of them through the wall. Oh, shit. Be careful. Well, well Takamura's still here. Let's go different ways. How long we have a better chance? Really? Think so? Then go. Now. Oh, it's more obvious if you don't use ping since all of a sudden the net runner is visible. Okay. That makes sense, yeah. I think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us. <laughs> AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitter's clogged. Well, thank you for the anonymous cheer. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I'll tell you who sleeps here. Fucking losers, that's who. Fuck! <laughs> How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying out- Now we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. 
Anyone knocked, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goral? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Song yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Hmm. Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trick, V. Yeah, yeah, Johnny is. Not a word. I have a message for V. Are you asleep? Time to wake up. I know you're in there. Are you asleep? Time to wake up. Oh, Don't fine. Touch that door. I know you're in there. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knocked the last star off this stuff. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? God, now this is this is extremely it's noir. Or a proxy. I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad. Hanako? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Yeah, I mean, this is just too perfect. Now look back. Look back. Why is your mouth open? Is there a problem? <laughs> I've missed you like TV misses being entertaining. Oh, there's still plenty of good TV out there. But yeah, I don't know. I just, for me, it just doesn't really hit anymore. I'll get on these tears, you know. I'll find like a show and just kind of put it on in the background for days at a time. That's how I watch TV. And there's there's no rhyme or reason to it. So I guess in the same way, yeah, it's kind of how I watch streams now. I'm sorry. No, this must be difficult for you. Painful. So much so that I could not look the truth in the eye. What happens now? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time, too. Dying, in fact. My dead body make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. Uh, Chaos Serenity, thank you for the prime. Servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Jesus Try Christ. Prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. There a problem. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer. 
using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. Is it possible to do this mission before either Let's of those side it. missions? I think sooner or later the engram will completely consume This me. is related to Takamura, so... Yeah, I guess it would be. Surprisingly, yeah, it would be. Conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech Did it without alt? I, I don't know if that makes any difference. That's Even interesting. more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Yeah, I thought telling her about Hellman was probably not the greatest idea. What now? Let us meet in person. At Ambers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Can't do the parade without them? Um, oh, point of no return coming up. Interesting. Uh, well, that's my job done. Oh, the parade mission didn't trigger until it did both of the other main things. Interesting. You know what? What? Hmm. I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sako meets Martin here. Got what we wanted. Don't tell me that proxy got to you. Fuck you. Come on, think about it. Yesterday, Hanukkah was living in a world that was completely safe for her. Now what she got on her hands now? A foreign city, a homicidal brother, and a fucking thief. It's why she sent a proxy. She's alone. And she is shitting herself more than we are. Uh-huh. Hm. <laughs> clink. What? Did you say clink? Mm-hmm. Sound of her attaching her leash. Oh my god. Yeah, you meet all through the voodoo boys. Was the proxy Hanako? Hanako was speaking through a proxy. So, whoever that lady was, she just came and then like Hanako spoke through her for a little bit. I apologize if I'm explaining something obvious and your question was something else. What's up? Got a few more words about the... The porcelain cunt? <coughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Johnny? You ain't dying yet. I got you. The trade mission only started for me after doing the other two missions. Johnny. That makes sense. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizine in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. Jesus. What's with the V's hands? Is that special cyberware? No, it's uh it's the gorilla arms, I'm pretty sure. No talking your way out of this one. You wanted to pop the pill. Gonna pretend you didn't say that. Oh, fuck off. I know what you are. Hey, I saved your ass. Got you out of harm's way. And you're still gonna doubt my intentions? Hmm. 
So, you ready? To do the rogue missions. Yes. I did everything that I could. I think I got a, a few more side quests, but yeah, I'm pretty... Because those were connected with Panam, right? Let's get okay. out of here. I believe you. Thanks. His tone was very different in my playthrough. Is he... More of an asshole? Climb through the window. Can manage that. Oh, well, those missions will become available after this. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, he was kinder to me? <laughs> huh. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. By this time, I already finished all the side quests. He's friendlier. Belong to you now. I mean, I um, I did all the side quests as well. All the ones that I could find. Like, I guess I didn't do all the cyber psycho stuff. That's something. Uh, this never called me back. I guess there's some gigs that unlocked recently. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe it's dialect choices. It might be. Uh, Mexican conflict. When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. I wouldn't mind lying down right now, watching the fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Hmm. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? So, ready? Damn. This feels like a rough conversation. Go with your heart. I feel like my heart says no on this one. Let's get out of here. I feel like this V would not take a bullet for Johnny. No. I wouldn't. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. I mean, I would do the same for him in his circumstance. Like, I'm not going to give him my body, though, so... So, you ready? I... I... Do the same for Johnny's you. Johnny's a great guy. Well, he's saying yeah. that. Thanks. Yeah, he knows I'm bullshitting. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Hanako and I want the same thing. Huh. Yeah. Listen, you'll do what you think's right. You're in charge here. Just got one request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero. Gone. Tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously. Smasher. He suddenly comes to mind. Last time we saw him... Didn't we... have a chance to say hello. That's why we gotta find him. Finally end this. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. Jeez. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. Mm. 
So I gotta tell Rogue everything? Think I'd better do that. Handle it personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Hmm. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out. I promise. Let's get out of here. Need to know exactly. I think I'll trust him on this. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Just got back from watching a live episode of my favorite podcast, The Dollop, where two comedians discuss the extensive dumb history of the U.S. of A. And this one was about the satanic panic surrounding Dungeons and Dragons, the disappearance of a prominent D and D player, James Dallas Egbert. They showed clips of a 60 Minutes episode premiered in the late 80s that pushes an extremely aggro narrative that D and D is causing kids to commit suicide through demon influence. Holy shit, that was crazy. Yeah, satanic panic is fun. That's a real fun phase. Uh, there, are, there were like a series of media fueled. Um, panics about dumb shit. Uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's it's a fun trend because it was so innocent back then. <laughs> I guess I guess all it did was make some parents ruin the good times of their kids. Fine, I'll do this for you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. What's the name of that Still Hanks movie? Mazes and Monsters. Doubt that's ever going away. <laughs> the Hotel Pista Sofia. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Act 3. Okay. Yeah, I imagine a, a whole grip of side quests are about to pop. <laughs> Maybe now I can finally ride the Ferris wheel. There it is, chipping in. Ah! Can't wait for that wave pool. It's gonna be so big. Never knew how involved the satanic panic was in drumming up fear and hatred towards tabletop RPG. Yeah, Amazing Monsters, one point he's talked off a ledge while he's crying about killing himself because he really likes D&D. &D. <laughs> Maybe with a bunch of actors acting, pushing a narrative in which acting as fictional characters causes suicidal ideations. Wild. Yeah. I mean, there was a whole, there was a panic about video games. Trump tried to start up another one, uh, bizarrely. One, after one of the many school shootings in the United States, video games come come up occasionally, and then nothing is done. There's an interview. So yeah, good stuff. Why are the people? Why the fuck are people actually scared of Satanism? Um, ooh, Tuckmer's good. Whoa, oh my god. Oh my god, he sent me a stupid, way too zoomed in selfie. That's delightful. Oh, Takamura. So good. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. There were so, yeah hardcore Christianity, and I think um there were there was like a serial killer that was very satanic, very openly satanic, the Night Stalker. So there were some people that played into it. you bow your head and then only to one of higher standing interesting <sighs> yeah Richard Ramirez yeah ghost well Stephanie was just watching that doc which is why it was kind of on my mind when it comes to satanic stuff 
It was a California representative that tried to ban violent video games right before he was arrested for illegal arms trading? <laughs> awesome. Cool. Politics! Yeah, video games are a pretty common scapegoat. Y'all should read about the California school where social workers convinced like 300 kids they'd been sexually molested and whipped the city into such a frenzy they started excavating the area around the school to find the supposed tunnels where they were taking the kids to do Satan shit. The whole thing was a lie, but the kids came to believe it because the adults thought they knew better. What? When was this? Was this the 70s or 80s? God, man. Human beings can, can just go... Go fucking off the deep end sometimes. That's the stuff that, like, ugh. Horror that's kind of based on that, of human beings just being creepy and human can get can get under my skin sometimes. That's the stuff that works on me. Sure. Hail Santa. Damn right. Oh, I gotta use the restroom. How are you liking Cyberpunk? It looks amazing, but my computer can't handle it right now. Yeah, I'm I'm very lucky that I have a computer that can, just barely. But I love it. I really, really love it so far. It's so fun. Um, but it's like, it's particularly my kind of game. You know, just a very story heavy, kind of mechanically dense. I I could do with some more mechanics, but it's mechanically dense enough. All right, break time. I got to use restroom. I'll be right back. Eyes, my hot body. mics. <laughs> hot mic on the internet. Oh, baby, that's a hot mic. Oh, yeah. Gig right here. <laughs> yeah, they... The Cyberpunk David Cage Classic Omicron. In many ways, Cyberpunk 2077 is similar to David Cage's Omicron, colon, The Nomad Soul. Where are all the game journalist articles about Omicron? That's what I want to know. Huh? Huh? What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that, Kotaku? Huh? 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 What's my think piece about? David Cage hit Omicron the Nomad Soul. We do the quest after the parade. Um, I hung out with uh, Johnny Silverhand for a, for a minute, if that's what you mean. I wish David Cage didn't do sci-fi fantasy stuff in every single game. He's not winning any Pulitzers, but his stories are legit interesting until he pulls sci-fi slash magic out of his behind. Um. Did Heavy Rain have magic? I remember it had like weird technology. Um Oh yeah, let's go there. It had like cyber detective goggles. And I think the ending like the ending wasn't supernatural, was it? Although it tried to make you think it would be. Maybe that's all I'm thinking of. I mean, this is not a hostile environment yet. Yeah. What? Weird. I guess it is a hustle environment. I don't know who that was. Oh, down there. All right. <clears throat> no worries. I'll just put everyone to sleep. Come on, we could be friends, right? Where I won't complete 
nearly kill you. Ooh. Oh, it's because the animals. The animals like to get beefy. Yeah, I got you now, worm. That was like a little mini dungeon. Nobody really has that good of loot. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, hold on. Better game about possession, Messiah or Omicron. Oh man, I haven't played Messiah in so long. I, uh, for the longest time at, at Funhouse, actually, I wanted to do a like super edgy late 90s PC game like series. That's essentially what Funhouse was. We just kind of only accidentally explored that genre instead of intentionally explored that genre. So I always thought like Kingpin Life of Crime would be good. Uh, Messiah. Is that the, that's the one where you're like the angel with a machine gun, right? Oh shit. Oh, that hurt a lot. Yeah, Messiah rules. And there's a variety of other just like really edgy late 90s games. Fuck the beach! Or just like hyper nerdy, like Daikatana. Daikatana is one of the nerdiest fucking nerdy ass games ever made. It is cyberpunk, as well. I wanted to play it in the lead-up to cyberpunk, cybermania. But instead, I'm anointing Sunday as Cyber Sunday. So I'm gonna play cyberpunk games on Sunday. I'll eventually get to it that way. <laughs> Daikatan is the greatest ego-driven game ever. I don't have enough of an opinion about the game itself. The game itself is actually not that bad. Um, it's just, you know, overhyped and... <laughs> Like, I remember being pretty ambitious at the time. Daikatana crossed my mind a few times while playing this. Good. Classic. Can't erase history. What the hell? Oh, wait. I was supposed to, I was supposed to park the van there. That's yeah, right. Okay. Oh, Zealot. Thank you very much for the prime. Song sounds like Nine Inch Nails meets Manson meets Rammstein. You just raked in a hefty heap of eddies and have those animals see it red. See, I like folks who know how to leave a lasting impression. I think I'll close this contract and hold on to your number for a while. Spoke with her. Not in person, but we spoke. You know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. She weird. contacted me too. We went, as you say, all in. And it worked. Hard for me to trust anyone who goes via proxies. She made you an offer. Seemed to know everything already. I gotta keep talking. 
I only know what Hanako-sama so fit to tell me. That is not much. So please, continue. Gotta meet in person. Soon. Very good. It will be hard to find a better sign of her trust. Gonna be there too? Not at this time. Arasaka is still searching for me. We cannot risk it. But it is only a matter of time, V. Anything else? Your hideout's been blown. Probably literally. Where are you now? <laughs> I am done with squats, V. That is the most I can say. You will have to be content. Okay. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. How's Oda doing? Still on the mend? Arasaka provided him with the best medical care, but I cannot guarantee it will be enough. Wounded pride heals slower than bones. Huh. Uh, okay. Talk to you later. I thought he called me, but maybe I accidentally called him. Me. There's a fair amount of conversation to have. Suddenly not phone filter? Yeah, that was weird, right? That was weird. Oh, okay. Four times. Oh, I didn't confirm. I should have done that. Hmm. Oh yeah, I needed to swing by, um... Hmm. I need to swing by Judy's place, pick up... Pick up the goodies she's got for me. How do I... Is it marked as an apartment now? I'm not quite sure how I would be able to find that. Yeah, okay. It's like it's like over here, yeah. Nice, yeah. Uh is it this? No oh, up. Oh that's that's a... Uh, wait. That's um river, right? Yeah, okay. That's my it's my other partner. <laughs> We're going to do the Mass Effect thing and confront me at the very end. I, I don't know. People seem to have implied that it doesn't even do that, which is unfortunate. Best line of the game, there's one where the voice actor completely changes. It's when doing one of the side missions, the one that gets you Scalpel Katana. Huh. On the real, you can romance river? Yeah. Does Judy know you romance river? No. She does not. Hasn't come up. Has not come up yet. This one? I feel like that might be it. Oh, you rejected him? I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. My man's like, I feel like maybe now I know like 1% of what it's like to like want to pity fuck somebody. Because <laughs> that's kind of what that was. But you know, whatever, man. He was probably, probably good in bed, maybe. River just needed a win. All right. Ooh. Is it working its way out? Oh, shit. Hey. Hey there, buddy. A little help. A little help. Just throw your hands on that. Yank it out of there. Ooh. Ooh! Not me, not me, not me! Huh. Okay, well that's going to complicate driving over there. Double jump and hit V twice while in the air. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. That's that's a pretty big top tip right there. I think people have told me that before and I refuse to do it. So you tricked me into it. Nice work. 
Can you only do that if you have double jump? Just, just want to keep my, my dick on tap. Wink. I think the the wink was maybe a little much. The wink might have been over over dedicating. River's a real softy. He kind of is, yeah. River's like a I don't know. River River I don't actually vibe on so much because to me he almost feels like he's mathematically created to try to appeal to women. Um, but in the way that like it seems it's. Rivers is kind of like the the equivalent. Oh, I feel like Rivers is the equivalent of giving a character huge boobs to make them like hot. You know, it's just like oh no, he takes care of kids and stuff, and he's like he's like a cop, but he's too like passionate about his job because he wants to protect people, and he's good with kids, and he's got big arms and a dangly earring like. It almost seems like somebody went down a checklist of, of very, like, teen stereo- like, not even teen, but just, like, stereotypical things that... Maybe not even the girls like, but the stereotypes say girls like, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming a lot here. This is, a uh, Ow. This is very, like, gut reaction kind of thing. Yeah, he cooks. Yeah. So it's like, you know, they, they gotta- They gotta do it all. Check my text messages while blazing down the street. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, they're asking me to, like, really double down on it? Uh... He's too basic for me? He's kind of basic, yeah. His tragic past is, like, a little more interesting, but also fits that, that stereotype rather perfectly. Oh my god, this shit, right? Oh, that's okay. I'll keep it all going. I'll keep it all going. I'll keep it all in the air. I can do this. I can do it. I can. I can make everyone happy. It's fine. I'll just live. I'll lead, lead double lives. It's okay. Plenty of E to go around. Maybe I'll have Johnny handle one of them. I'll have Johnny take over a river for me. He'll love that. He loves cops. Oh. oh! Shit. God, that's, uh... That's terrifying. <laughs> having, like, having been on a bike and, like, lane split and stuff. Oh, God. The last thing you want to see is, like, a rapidly approaching back bumper to a van. Crap. It's like a clown balancing spinning plates. No! It's like a cool cyber hacker. Cyber spinning, cool digi plates. That's what it's like, and it's cool. It's very cool. It's not. It's not pathetic and sad. It's very cool. Why is the radio on? What's that all about? I don't really listen to the dirge much. Interesting. I'm intrigued. I still want to go to Judy's. Oh! Goodness. <laughs> Mr. Robot. <laughs> what the hell? I will allow it this once. Oh, okay. Eric. Eric's Eric's the deputy on on deck right now. 
That's just the way it goes. Hey, that's that's justice. Mr. Robot, I'm going to I'm going to thank you for your service and your sacrifice, by the way. Um, I'm going to say that was worth the 10 minutes, so I appreciate it. But yeah, we got to have law and order around here. Come on. <laughs> I like the It's like there was a bot set up and it automatically did it for Mr. Robot. He's like, "Fuck no, it was still on." <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> like detected set up specifically to detect that song rest in pizza oh shit now I want pizza oh fuck I want pizza so bad right now I don't have I don't have enough calories for that drank two bottles of champagne yesterday I've already had my pizza I want to know what happened it was just it was just copy pasta it's like shake that ass girl with a little skelly bones man dancing. It was pretty good. It was good. It was excellent copy pasta and contextually appropriate. It was exactly the way to shit post. If I could give it a trophy, I would. Hey, what up? Let me in. Where are those burritos I've been hearing about? There they are. Oh yeah. Wasn't a very good shotgun, Judy. Judy? I know you meant well. But it's not a very good shotgun. It's just not, okay? An uncompromising force weapons technology that once belonged to Judy. She's giving me her shotgun? <sighs> well, holy moly, I feel like a jerk now. Damn, that's a lot of DPS. Check out my new katana. I was just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Yeah, you said that when I called you. Yeah, check out. There was some trouble in Japan town at the parade. Peep this blade. Oh, that's cool. There's new dialogue. What'd you hear? Corporals opened fire. Civilians were killed. Oh shit, civilians went down? Yeah, that was kind of my fault. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but the second I heard, I knew you were involved. Just wanted to talk to Hanako. She's Things like, 20 people died, V. There. Dealing with corpse? What did you expect? What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. Well, that's that then. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Hmm. Are cyber arm mods on the Nexus? No. Got another question on my mind. I am not familiar. What is? Shoot. What's going on? Is it just like more customization? Different, different cyber arms. That's cool. I was like full chrome arms and shit. Awesome. Tech thingy notes. I want to read your notes on tech thingy. Oh yeah, this was her underwater recording device for our duet date, which was actually really sweet. That was a nice little scene. Judy's place is actually nice too. Oh yeah, these are all independent, right? Yeah, for some reason. For the lore of it, I guess. <laughs> uh, when you're playing the Revillage demo? Um, is that out? Is that a thing? I remember seeing the, like, tech... What, the alpha you could sign up for for some other game? You stupid. Oh, it's only on PS5? Boo. Is it- Oh, so it's- it is out though? Okay. Shoot, I should check it out then. 
hold on a second. <laughs> let me go. Let me start downloading it. Um, I didn't have a chance to actually like watch the whole uh, Resident Evil showcase thing because I I was just doing something right up until the stream started. So let me go start downloading that. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, well, screw it. I'm gonna do this now. Cool. That'll do it for Cyberpunk tonight. Thank you, Cyberpunk. Uh.